Uh, we live. Uh, we live. Seems like we are. Cool. Let's continue. I left it on this screen to remind myself that some biters had broken through this pathetic little wall over here, which I really should have put a bit more effort into, even if it is temporary. Um, so we're going to have to get back to Nalvis uh, pretty quickly before things get a bit messy. I believe we have made this planet entirely self-sufficient. Uh, mining core fragments, sending some of them back to Nalvis, and running off of the uranium from the core fragments that it processes itself, building its own ammo, building its own uh, delivery cannon capsules, and running 12 media defense installations to prevent us from getting visited by Biter Meteors. It's an extremely small planet, so we've already cleared all of the Biters on the entire map. And yeah, I think we're good. So once I tidy up a couple of things here, uh, we're going to head back to Narvis. And by tidying up a couple of things, I don't even really have a to-do list at this point. It's really just uh, inspecting it and making sure... Oh, there's no productivity modules here. Uh, is that necessary? Probably not. Um, it's really more speed that's an issue here, if anything. But as long as we are accumulating ammo, which it looks like we are, this should be fine. Yeah, I'm not too worried about that either way. We definitely can't productivity this. Um, I did come to the conclusion earlier that actually I'm not even necessarily concerned about productivity, although in the cases where we've got beacons and only four productivity modules, uh, we can keep the max power consumption down to the absolute minimum, which is 20% of normal, so that's obviously worth doing. There's not a whole lot of copper reaching the end of this belt, so that might be a good idea. Um, what else? I could make some more efficiency modules for these, I'm not overly concerned about it. Uh, the green circuits are literally just for the media defense cannons. So, that's probably fine. Oh, speaking of which, away they go. One shot fired. Nine out of twelve structures remain ready. That seems a bit weird. I think I saw these three were recharging earlier, so maybe... Oh, maybe that happened a little while ago, actually, and I just heard one of these cannons firing. But in any case, I think the meteors can come often enough that some of the media defense installations are still charging, which is a little bit concerning. But that's probably fine. Okay. 
think we are... Did I never put an output for this? No, I did. It's backed up. Except I thought I saw a lack of... I guess it wasn't glass. I saw a lack of plastic on this belt. We're lacking plastic because we're lacking... We're not lacking anything. Oh, it's a... Uh... It's not plastic, it's steel. Okay, should we... Increase the iron production, maybe? If we're accumulating iron here, that's probably not good, I think. I might have to revise this eventually, but it should... Uh, worst case scenario, it should take a very long time to get backed up on something. We've got tons of power. I think it's probably a good idea. I might have to make another one of these, though. We could maybe remove the productivity modules. And I'll merge this in down here. That's fine. Okay. I think... I was going to say I would prioritize this stuff, but... It's not coming through anyway, for the most part. I don't really want to go to the trouble of handcrafting a lot of efficiency modules here, or sending them by rocket, or coming back myself, which is the same thing. But the more power we use... Well, no, it's fine. We're making... Uh, we're, we're accumulating uranium actually way faster. Uranium fuel cells uh, faster than I thought we would. So... Really not concerned about that, I think. So I think we can head back. Worst case... Oh, I may as well place these extra solar panels. Uh, worst case, if something needs fixing, we do have a bot network. Uh, we should have an abundance of extra roboports. Although I only see seven for now. Uh, but the point is, I could probably do some remote maintenance via the satellite view. Hey, Sigma B. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. One more. Um, don't tell me that's the last of my solar panels. Nope, definitely not. I don't know how necessary this is, but we may as well place them. The more power we get, the more... Uh, the less we use the uranium fuel, the more we could... Uh, increase the core mining if we want to. Which, of course, we do. It's going to take them quite a while to finish placing that landfill. 
Let's let the bots catch up first. Land over here. And I want to have a peek at a landfill. Looks like one machine is more than enough to consume all of our stone, actually. Considering we only need these for stone tablets, for the green circuits, which we've got completely backed up, I'm not too worried about that. Those should definitely have productivity modules. I went a bit overboard removing productivities earlier. When I realized it was a bit too much for our current, at the time, power production. Um, so some of these have beacons full of efficiency modules and no productivity modules in the machines which is not the best idea. Are you done with the initial planet, or is there still stuff you need to do on it? You mean uh, Nalvis? Um, I'm using Nalvis as our hub, basically. Our main base. Um, unless and until I see something that might be more attractive for that. Crude oil wait what okay that's not right there's definitely not a lot of resources on Nalvis. but i was trying to check what uh core fragments we get from there but it turns out is it only Nalvis that gives you regular core fragments like directly Whatever the case, um, I think our next target is we could either go back to Moors and set up mining of all of this iridite and cryonite. Finite as it is, it will last a very long time, and we do have some infrastructure there already. Um, or we could look for a planet with an infinite supply of one of these resources. I believe it's Iridite that's the main one we need at the moment. Um, we don't have a supply chain set up for the Cryonite that we got from Moz, but one rocket full of it is lasting us a very, very long time. Um, you can't call mine an asteroid belt, right? Surely. Um, but yeah, cryonite we only need for sending water to space, which is not strictly needed. Although it's much, 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 much more convenient. Um, oh, there's our cryonite at Hagen. Uh, but I'm more concerned about getting the iridite first. Let's see. Primary resource... Is this iridite? This is the only one. Four nags. Uh, I wish I could jump to it in the solar system map. I just sort of find that easier to conceptualize. Here it is. It's a desert planet. Looks like. And what do we got? Iridite stone, hardly any iron, plenty of copper. Hot and cold, unusual, barren, treeless, puddles, hilly. Okay. I think we'll go to back to Mars first. And I may as well get that crude oil core mining going. Uh, so that's one less resource we ever have to worry about. I mean, we don't really have trouble with crude oil on Nalvis, but, um... What do you actually get out of the...
out of the crude oil core fragments. Core fragment crude oil. It gives us extra coal. Wait, what? Oh, that's coal. I was reading it wrong. There it is. Core fragment crude oil. 100 crude oil plus 5 core fragments and stone. That's actually not particularly exciting at all. May as well just, um, you know, find every, uh, uh, find every crude oil patch on Nalvis and speed module it. But the main thing we're going to Moors for is the Crynite and Iridite. Okay. So... I'm still trying to figure out if we are absolutely, definitely 100% done here. I think the main thing I want to do before we leave is set up the blueprint for the next... Um, Nuclear plant? I guess we could do that remotely. Now that I think about it, it's going to take ages. Uh, we could grab a whole bunch of stone and make sure that gets turned into... A landfill? I thought we had a massive excess of landfill, but no, we did work through it all. Alright, well, in lieu of anything else, um, I think I will... Uh, make sure our rocket is going to be ready to launch. There go our bots again. What do we got? We need to drop off our compacted cargo rocket sections and a capsule. And that's pretty much it. Capsule is over this way. Somewhere. Packed cargo rocket sections. Bots leave me alone. I want to keep those. And drop them all off in here. That actually stacks that much. Only when it goes into the machine, I guess. So each of these is worth five. Um, I don't know if we've got enough to completely assemble a rocket. We're going to find out. There's our capsule. I should set a request, I guess. Oh, I know why the bots jumped out earlier. Because I marked a bunch of these uh, rocks for deconstruction. And click. Makes a bit more room. All right, let's place as many of these as we can. And I may as well wait here and look via telemetry to see... Oh, there we go. 26 more. Oh, that's way more than a rocket. I think I... Yeah, because I doubled up on sending the rockets. So we've got way more than enough to fully assemble a rocket to leave. Unless those are unpacked, which I don't think they are. 
Yeah, no, those are packed. Okay. Let's just set some logistic requests, and the bots will find them for us. Cargo pocket section. Uh, all of them, please. I was going to say that's weird, why is it not going yellow? But it just took a few bots getting in position. It looks like we don't have any regular cargo rocket sections, which means none of... Oh, that makes sense. The first time we landed here, there's no cargo landing pad. The second time we landed here, there was effectively no cargo landing pad because we got the... 1% chance that the rocket didn't land properly. So... We didn't get any parts recycled. So it's just as well we sent these, uh, packed cargo rocket sections, actually. I don't know why the bots are not prioritizing this a bit higher. All right, let's head over and get these out of our inventory. And pick up the rest, I guess. Uh, I suppose once we hit 100, which we're going to, um, I'd like to keep the rest for next time. So why don't we just... Cargo rocket section less than 100. So once there's... Uh, it, it counts these as if they were in the inventory, so that insert is going to stop now. Fantastic. And I guess I'll get some of this stuff out of my inventory. Don't know why the bots are being so lazy about that in particular. Grab this solar panels and accumulators. Bots are still chasing me. a lot of accumulators actually. I guess we could fit some more over here. Uh, another thing I want to do is automate sending flat solar panels back down to Narvis, which I think we're just going to set up a whole rocket for. Since it's much simpler setting up individual rockets for individual items than trying to combine them. Come to think of it, I suppose we could set up a bunch of requests to send a bunch of different things down to Nalvis, and as soon as the rocket is full regardless of what items it's full of, uh, then it'll launch. It's not a problem as long as it's going into like a bot network with practically infinite storage. Also, geez, that is still a lot of solar panels that we need to place. 
let's put a few more over here. I'll bring some down where the bots are going to be able to do it for me. We also need to bring the cliff explosives. Did I run out of cliff explosives already? I think I did. I could run logistic uh, roboports all the way up here. I can't be bothered with that. It would just be for the cliff explosives, which we can just go and get. It might just take the limit off this chest, though. I don't see the point of it. Um, give it some more steel. And if it really comes to that, we can remotely expand the RoboPort network and have logistic bots provide that stuff. And let's get some more RoboPorts. Slow bots are slow. Wait, what? Oh, I see. You were helping. Okay. That's a good size reach. That looks kind of cool, not gonna lie. Like giant robo wings. Oh, I forgot the minor detail of uh, Vita Melange. How many deposits of this do we have? One, uh, two, three is where? Is this whole top section of the planet just not having any vi uh, Vitae? Looks like it. Oh, there's a little bit more. Four. Or was that three? There's three. And four. Uh, why... Why was Cliff Explosives in my trash slots? I wish it would automatically bring them back from the trash slots. I think what happened was, because I'm requesting exactly 20, it put 20 here and 20 here, and then it doesn't bring back the rest. Well, to be honest, I'm not too concerned about Vitae just yet, and I want to move on to fixing up laws. But on the other hand, we may as well accumulate it. At the very least, we'll set up some bot mines for it. Wait, why am I picking up a furnace? Um... Let's grab a blueprint. Uh, 
efficiency plus productivity. If this goes here, is that going to reach everything? Nope. That should do it. think. And we'll get one up here as well. Can I cover this whole thing? I think I can. Okay. Things to add to the regular shopping list. Efficiency modules, absolutely. Uh, we're still loading, so I don't know if this is going to be over full or not. We could probably... Maybe not bring so much ammo. Bring more fuel. Where is it? Oh, there it is. That's good. Uh, yeah. Efficiency module, they're going to be a lot less important than speed modules when we start building somewhere new. Uh, let's say 200. That's only four stacks. I'm sure that that's going to be fine. Uh, this can definitely face the other way. And I think we will use cliff explosives. Perfect. Uh, that's slightly upsetting. And I think I'll just... Um, Bring this straight over here. Is it nugget? Nugget, spice, roast. No, it's vitamelange. That's what we're mining directly. Okay. That means you. Okay, why is the substation not quite reaching? There we go. I'm glad I checked. I would have uh, definitely left without setting this stuff up. I guess we're not going to worry about the beacons for now. Bring this down here. If we can. That's actually a terrible place to do that. already working. Where does it say... I don't think it does say products finished for miners, does it? Effect sources, productivity... No, it doesn't. Okay. That's going to be over 100k. Um, I could just set up... What? Oh, it's on the ground. 
Um, I could just set up a cannon for that right here. Going to be a slight nuisance. I could belt it over here instead. Copy this one. And wire goes here. Tick greater than zero. We need to make another cannon. We need concrete and heat shielding. And why am I... Why is my inventory still full of cargo rocket sections? Okay. I don't really want the bots to have to bring that over all the time. Let's use a belt. And what else was I doing? Cannon. We need concrete and heat shielding. Concrete is here. Heat shielding. I don't think we packed that directly. No, I definitely needed to add that to the list of stuff. Heat shielding. A couple of hundred should be enough. LDS. It's probably overkill. We'll see how full this gets. Um, There's definitely heat shielding that we can pick up from over here. If I can remember where it is. There it is. How much do we need? Only one. And I'll copy-paste the copper because it'll have the coordinates and everything set up as well. So we'll change this to... Uh, Vitema Lunge. And... Belt it over this way. That'll just about do it. Except that this isn't powered. Or facing the right way. Okay. All right, that should do it. And we'll see how long 100k of this lasts. I can always just come back here. Okay. And then you can go here. Um, is there anything else that I really want to bring back with me? don't really think so. I'll leave all of that over here. Oh, the bots can't actually reach this. That would probably help. Silly me, they already placed the accumulators. It's really quite a lot of extra ones we've got. Alright, well, I guess uh, once we actually get enough... I should add some radars. So we can see what's going on. without worrying about the uh, navigation satellite. Oh, one other thing I was going to set up is some artillery turrets. 
I need some shell production if I'm going to have them snipe any spawners that somehow get through. Except to do that we need steel plastic explosives. That's actually not as bad as I thought. We've got steel and plastic almost on the same belt here. Um, explosives requires coal and coal, sulfur, and water. Oh, there it is. I could have sworn I made explosives over here before. So, explosives, steel, and... Oh, we need to make the regular shells first. Yeah. Radar... Uh, I'm not setting that up. That's way too much. Especially when I'm pretty sure... I'm like 97% sure this is set up to prevent biters from ever coming back to the planet. We can see the this side of the belt is indeed backing up, so I think we're going to be fine there. Okay, I think we are perhaps ready. So let's head back to Nalvis. Actually, maybe we would like to go to Nalvis orbit, and then we basically... Yeah, we're not bringing anything in the cargo rocket, necessarily. So that's not going to be a problem to deal with. We could go to Nalvis orbit, and then the capsule can get us back to Nalvis... Uh, for free, basically. And then we can set up a production chain. Well, not a production chain so much as automatically sending the uh, flat solar panels back to... back down to Earth. Why is... Oh, I think I understand. Yep, there we go. Even though stone belongs in my trash slots, the bots were not um, able to enter them there directly. They have to put them into the character slot, a uh, uh, regular inventory. Okay. Um... I'll leave all this stuff here. It's probably fine. I'll take the robo ports. No, actually, I'm leaving the robo ports. Um. Landing pad. That's what I was looking for. Cargo rocket silo. And landing pads, actually. I might want to add some to Nalvis orbit. Okay, that should be it. I could also take some of this ammo back to Nalvis orbit as well, since I don't think we're producing that there either. Although I could definitely set it up with relative ease. Okay, enough uh, dallying of dillies. Let's get going. And I was... I need to remember to change this to... Now this orbit. I suppose it makes sense. I suppose it makes sense to go to Nalvis orbit on the way back to Nalvis as a matter of course, actually. Uh Nalvis orbit landing pad, let's check. Which one is that? 
That's called scaffold. Nervous orbit storage pad, Nervous orbit landing pad. Uh, if anything, I should land at one of these so that the parts get recycled. Why are we not outputting the cargo rocket sections? Okay. Alright. That's probably going to be fine. Let's just go to the Nervous Orbit landing pad and we'll sort things out manually. Oh, and I could have brought another... Like, I could take another capsule or two. They're not doing any good here. Do I not have a bunch of capsules lying around on Navis Orbit already? There's one. Then again, considering that there's literally no utility to leaving those here... Except... I was going to say it would make a future launch easier, but no, every single time we send a rocket here. Um, how am I going to empty this? That should be fine. And I'll take some rocket fuel for the road. Scrap. That's not getting produced here, as a matter of course. I could take some more inserters. I'm just, just going to stop worrying about it. Take all these, let's go. And away go my bots. Hey, Bob Marley. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Okay. That's absolutely the last... Okay, fine. Drop the rest of the solar panels. And then off we go. All right, now this orbit landing pad, here we come. I still have some empty inventory spaces, whoops. Come to think of it, if there is even a small chance of... Hmm. That's a problem. Okay. Where is my thruster suit? There we go. If there's even a small chance of the rocket missing the pad, we definitely need roboports with construction bots around landing pads so that they can pick everything up and put it where it needs to go. All right, so we automated this over here, but we're not using this uh, sushi belt anymore. It's it's getting decommissioned little by little. Uh, so we want to automate flat solar panels uh, down at the new sushi belt. That's a lot of multispectral mirrors. And I guess we could fit them down here somewhere. Where are my space assemblers? There we go. Uh, so multi-spectral mirror. And I think the next one doesn't require any fluid. Flat solar panel. Yep, that's pretty straightforward. So lubricant and cosmic water. I might 
Okay, let's get some space pipe. I think it's over here. And get rid of my logistic requests. Lubricant can maybe go over here. That's going to be tricky. Unless I get rid of this, which I might do. Yeah, I think that makes sense. Let's just do it this way. Uh, Nina. Which one looks less weird? Probably like this. And obviously, long pipe over this way for... What is it called again? Cosmic... Uh, chemical gel. Cosmic gel. That actually lines up really well. Alright, so we've got our... We've almost got our fluids. There we go. And then the rest is on the bus. We need to set up a... Why is everything getting pushed away from this lane? That makes sense. Should we put another balancer here? Or oh, that's a bit overkill. I could just put a long arm. So we're taking off the belt. Therefore, red wire. Read hand contents pulse. And this can go straight in here, I think. Uh, we will have to put scrap back on the belt, though. Read hand contents pulse. Filter is... Scrap. And this one will automatically only put the relevant items in here. Cool, that was easier than... Expected. And then we need another cargo rocket silo right about here. Um, unless we want to put it somewhere else. It might be a bit of a pain to fuel this thing. I never even got as far as thinking about that. Uh, we are making rocket fuel over here. That's our light oil. Maybe I should just put... Uh, yeah, I should probably put liquid rocket fuel on the fluid bus. To do that... I suppose I could put uh, rocket fuel on the... Sushi belt. Is this actually working just fine and I maybe set the limits for some of these resources a bit too high? I am seeing gaps everywhere, so it's not too bad yet. Yeah, I thought something might be broken at first, but I think this is actually fine. We're just not Outputting this stuff here. Hmm. I've said it before, but it's a shame that we can't get a filter long arm inserter. Well, if I move these over. Oh, that helps. And. Well, I guess I'll wait for this to empty. Oh, that's going to take a very long time. Okay. I'll put this here. So that... What? Inventory full. Um, 
I'll put this here so that these can empty and then stuff gets pushed over here so we can pick up this stuff. And then, okay, cool. That should do it. Don't forget to turn these around. What's our rate for this, uh... Okay, we're definitely making more than enough solid rocket fuel here. Should I put it on the bus, or should I... Is there anything else that we're going to need rocket fuel for? Solid rocket... Uh... Solid with a capital S, I guess? Still not finding it. Fuel. Solid rocket fuel. Uh, it goes into... Atomic bomb. Nuclear fuel. Navigation satellite. Delivery cannon capsule. Solid rocket fuel. Rocket science pack. Space capsule. That's something I hadn't considered we're going to have to make. Um, well, I don't think that we are going to have to make space capsules here, strictly speaking, because they're going to get sent up here with the rockets. We're already putting them on the sushi belt. Well, if it really comes to that, we'll make some, but I doubt we'll need to. Um, they're all getting put into this. For when they get sent back to Nalvis. Um, I should, I could probably just change the condition on this one to space capsule, uh, Uh, less than two. Something like that. Just make sure we leave a, f a few on the belt. Or is it greater than two? Whatever the case, it's probably fine to uh, put solid rocket fuel on the sushi belt. To do that, we're going to need to finesse this a little bit. That's a bit unfortunate. Oh, I can just put it straight there, actually. Yeah, that's fine. All right, green wire. And I'm still damaged from earlier. It's a bit surprising. Read hand contents pulse. Uh, condition is... Solid rocket fuel is less than... I don't know, let's just make it 10 for now, because... How did you... Oh. Okay, there we go. Solid rocket fuel less than 10. There's already 100 on the bus. Did I actually... I sent this up via cannon, and I forgot. So there was already 100 solid rocket fuel on the bus. Okay, cool. We don't need this at all. And in fact, that's probably why this machine isn't struggling, because we're picking up solid rocket fuel from this belt as well. Um, you can have your empty barrels back, though. Okay. Wait, we didn't, like, count... An empty barrel, I think, or did we? No, we're good. What was I needing solid rocket fuel again? Uh, for again? To make, uh... Liquid fuel. So we're gonna need a fuel refinery somewhere. And... I could set it up so it's directly inserting to this, but... 
It's maybe not the best way to do it. Um, we could maybe have the cargo rocket silos all together ish instead of having to use another I think I did count all the possible fluids I would use for this and left room for them so it's probably fine to use one of these for liquid rocket fuel actually let's say it's gonna be this one just to make things easier In which case, pipe could go up through here. That's slightly unfortunate. Actually, that might work out pretty well. Not really. Put it right about here. Oh, this is the part where nothing comes onto this part of the belt. Unless I change that. Why don't we just do it like this? Oh, that doesn't actually reach. Oops. Liquid rocket fuel. Uh, don't forget to subtract from the count. Read hand contents pulse. No condition. Go. Fantastic. So that's you already getting fueled up. Uh, launch trigger is still manual. I haven't set up a receptacle for that yet. I suppose we could just set up a general... A general landing pad on Nalvis. Not like this one. Um... If we don't mind having the bots have to empty them every time. It's either that or a separate landing pad for each resource. I think for now a general landing pad is probably fine. We don't need this here. And then I'll just put the one active provider chest so we don't create 600,000 uh, bot jobs whenever something lands here. And the next one of these I want to put right here. Actually, that's not quite going to work. Um, there's a pipe, like, here. That might be okay, actually. Yeah, you can just barely see on the left where the pipe goes in. So that goes here. And then... I don't think we're going to use any of these. Don't know what's going to fit here. 9, 10, 11, 12. And then... That's going to be a little bit unfortunate. It's almost too perfect. Let's move this over a little bit. And we'll do it like this as well.
Hey, Velda. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, we should probably name our landing pad. So this is just called Nalvis Landing Pad. Um, let's change this one to... Crayon Knight. This is now called Lan Nalvis Landing Pad. Uh, there we go. And we're already fueling it up. Fantastic. We should also be able to... Wait, since when? Oh! When did they add this? Wait, what? That little white plus symbol. What is that? Uh, that, that looks a bit weird. I think it's part of the white outline of which tiles we're picking up and putting down on. But it looks a bit strange when we point it over here. Okay. Uh, red wire because we're subtracting from the belt. Read and contents pulse. No condition, I think. One job, a the Westy. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, and I think I'm gonna have to set filters for this. Uh, yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to set filters for this. What am I saying? Otherwise, we'd fill the cargo. So. Uh, let's see. We need to check... This is actually a lot more complicated than this one. Uh, we need to subtract what's actually in here. H times negative 1. Output H. And... I'm a bit concerned about the pulse. Uh, the pulses on the red wire are going to... I, I could put a one-way combinator here if it's really necessary. I don't think it's going to be a problem. Because a one-tick pulse doesn't if, succeed in making a fil uh, an inserter pick something up. Um, so... Subtracting what's actually in here. Uh, constant combinator. And let me just change the wire here real quick. And we're asking for a single capsule. 100 cargo rocket sections, set filters, and you can see the resources that are getting picked up off the belt uh, pulsed on that red wire from over here. You know what? I think just because this flickering bothers me, I might um, just add a bit of one-way wire for this. So, uh, red wire goes here, and here, each times one, output each, and then we try to pick up off the belt. One concern I do have is all of the cargo rocket sections, obviously this is the case right now, but 
they may have already been taken by this machine. Enabled condition is cargo rocket section is greater than or equal to 100. Oh, I see. Yeah, that makes sense. This has to be... This rocket has to be ready to launch before we... turn these into packed cargo rocket sections. I would like to add a condition to this whereby we leave maybe a hundred cargo rocket sections on the sushi belt. But I'm not sure how to go about that. Hmm. We have to add the regular cargo rocket sections here to the sushi belt. And check that. Alpha's, uh, Alpha Seth Gaming, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. So I think we do a one way wire from the green wire for the sushi belt, and then possibly the same thing from here. In which case, all we have to do is have a single uh, combinator. It's just going to be cargo rocket sections times one. Green wire goes... Uh, that's not gonna work. I think actually it's fine if this green wire connects directly to here, but we need this one to be one way from the sushi belt. Okay, there's one cargo rocket section on the sushi belt. That outputs one. This outputs the contents of the rocket. Uh, so the input of... There's zero regular cargo... No, there's a hundred cargo rocket sections coming from this green wire. And plus one over here, so that's 101. Uh, so this has to be greater than or equal to... 200, and that should prevent us from, that, that'll keep 100 uh, cargo rocket sections on the sushi belt. So let's test that theory. Wait, what? Only cargo rockets, oh, I had it backwards. Uh, let's make ourselves a assembler. And we'll pack some cargo rocket, I mean, unpack some cargo rocket sections. Hey, Heimer Wayne, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. That's three, four, five, six, nine, twelve, fifteen, eighteen, twenty. Uh, I thought it was 20. Let's check. Shouldn't take too long, especially with this. Oh, I forgot a stack insert has absolutely no effect on picking these up. Uh, that's 48. We're looking for 100. Uh, 
Almost there. Uh, why are there four of these? Oh yeah, 48 times 2 is 96. Okay, that is 100. Good, perfect. Um, let's just temporarily... do this. Add these onto the sushi belt. Read belt contents pulse. I'm pretty sure this will go on the right side. Not at all. And now our count is incorrect. Uh, that was not smart. Okay. One. I think there was one on the belt already. How do you know how many items stay on the sushi belt? We have a memory cell. Uh, the way this works is because in Factorio signals travel instantaneously across wires and they take one tick to travel through a combinator. Um, so on tick one, we have an input here. On tick two, we have an output based on this condition. If we just link this to its own output, uh, we create a circle that happens every single tick. Uh, so it takes one tick to go from here to here, and then zero ticks to travel across the wire back to the start. If we then output everything that comes in, it's going to hold on to a condition. So we can feed this some signals. If we feed a, if we use a constant combinator and leave it switched on, uh, that actually becomes a timer because this will output T1 every single tick, but uh, turning it off, you can see that it holds on to T equals 199. So all we need to do from that point on, uh, if we have any space belt, is if we want to put something onto the sushi belt, let's do counterclockwise this time. Uh, we can simply read belt contents pulse. If we want to subtract something from the counter, we'll need an arithmetic combinator that says each thing times negative one. Output each and I guess I'll use an inserter for this. Uh, like so. Uh, read hand contents pulse. So anything that... Uh, I'm going to just get rid of this bit of the belt for now. Anything that goes through here is going to get read for exactly one tick by the belt. That's going to go to here, and then it's going to start going round in circles forever. So I put a bit of pipe on the belt, and it shows that we have one pipe. If I were to then... Uh, oops. Oh well. If I were to then remove it from that, uh, you can see it removes the count. Why don't I add more than our inserter can keep up with for now? So we can see we've got 22 going down rapidly. And that's how that works. Another way to do it is if you don't want to deal with this sort of circuitry but you don't want to cover the entire belt with uh, read belt contents hold. Neat, thanks, no worries. Uh, what you can do... Oh. 
I'll take that. Uh, what you can do as well is set it up so that... Uh, let's see. Why don't I just use an inserter this time? We'll say these three bits of belt. Read belt contents hold. And let's say everything has to equal zero. We can do it for specific items, obviously. Uh, put some modules in here. And you can see that that is never quite going to fill up. There's always going to be a bit of room left over. Uh, that should have been over here, actually. So, obviously, a system like this requires a lot of tweaking. So, for a massive sushi belt like this, maybe not so viable. But for science, uh, I did some experiments for this and uh, with this type of model, and it is actually very effective. And the nice thing about this is if I take stuff directly off the belt, or if there's some kind of accident or something, we don't have to worry about the count being incorrect. It's just going to sort itself out. Did not know that we can count in Factorio? Yeah, it's not exactly all there in the manual. Um, you have to figure out... Like, it's, it's definitely not intuitive how connecting some uh, connecting a combinator's input to its own output is how you do that speaking of which um what i might do uh oh that's even worse uh you know what we can go in here What I might do is pick these up for now. And I should know exactly how many... I should have been counting those. Okay. I'm like 90% sure there was exactly one of these in the belt earlier. So we need to pulse um, 13, I think. Let's make a pulse generator. Whoops. Oh, that's right. These were in here. This is like the one place we can stack these. Uh, pulse generator. Combinator. goes here, that goes here, except this will be less than zero, turn this off, uh, cargo rocket section, negative 13, and I'm pretty sure that count is correct now. Could be wrong. If it's wrong, it's off by one. A hey, young Jesus. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Okay. So what we're going to do is just... Read hand contents pulse. And put these on the belt. And that'll be that. As soon as this empties, I'll put the long arm inserter back. Got no shift tomorrow, so will you stream? Uh, yes, tomorrow I will. And then, unfortunately, I probably have to work for three days in the middle of Christmas week. Fantastic. I'm 
I'll see what I can do about not doing that. Same, I have to work on the 24th. Rip. Okay. Um, so that should have a hundred cargo rocket sections on the belt, which will allow this thing to get built. And we've set it up so that in future, when rockets arrive here, the cargo rocket sections won't all just get put back in here. They will, some will stay on the belt so that we can uh, get a rocket going. All right, so that is cargo rocket section. We need to do the same thing for space capsules. Uh, let's see. This is actually on the exact same wires as this one. So if I change this to each times one output each, we should be able to put an enable disable condition of uh, space capsule is less than, uh, greater than or equal to some amount. Okay. Should be as easy as that. Less than one. Oh, I see. You're getting the count from here as well. But I don't want you to care about the count in here for this one. So I just need to make this green wire... Uh, do I need to make this green wire skip over this one? We need this green wire... Oh boy. Is this going to be one of those, I wish I had three types of wire situations? We need the count from the sushi belt. And... Red wire is read hand contents pulse subtracting from the sushi belt. Green wire is the count from the sushi belt plus what's in the... Cargo rocket silo. I think I need to add another combinator here just to subtract um, uh, just to subtract the sec uh, what are they called? Capsules. Negative one, not put. Whoops, whoops. Space capsule. Negative nine, okay. And it will be receiving the count of space capsules on the belt. Yeah, that should be it. So this one connects to here. And just to double check, we're not getting a constant negative nine signal on the sushi belt. Please add, please someone add that, like a mod, maybe. I don't know if modding would support that or not. Okay, so space capsule uh, on the sushi belt has to be greater than or equal to, let's say 10. And that'll be that. So now I should have left this in place, but I'll take the uh, cargo, but I'll take the pod, uh, space capsules back and I'll do this. Read belt contents pulse, space capsule onto the belt you go. It's kind of hard to see where I'm placing them with the verticality of it. Cool. Oh. 
And we can see this is not active yet. Perfect. Which means we should sooner or later get... Oh, I see. Wait, what? Oh, we've got our space capsule. Fantastic. That was quick. And that means this is working correctly. Fantastic. So now all we need to do is put our flat solar panels into the cargo rocket. It seems we also need to make regular solar panels up here. If not, send them from downstairs. I think I would have to set up a, a whole other cargo rocket for that. Which is not out of the question. In fact, I could set it up right next to this thing. And so long as we don't need solar panels on the sushi belt, um, we'll just direct insert those as well. So that could go here. Why is that blocked? Oh, there's no... There's no space platform here. Um, what are we calling this? Solar panel? And I'll copy this. Except we don't need that part. This one I think will be unconditional. Read hand contents pulse. Yep, seems good. Oh. This doesn't go here, it would go here. Um... Whoops. A I am suck. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. What if we put this over here, maybe even remove the um Roboport. And we could just insert those directly like so. Or we could put it up here. I don't really like that. Don't know where the bot ran off with my um landing pad. Here it comes back. I'll move this over here just to make clear what it's doing. And then... I think I could actually move these belts back a little bit. Make sure that's empty. Oops. Yeah. That should be okay. Nothing spaghetti about it. No, nothing at all. Alright, so that's going to be a solar panel. And... Like so. These are the biggest requester chests I've ever seen. Uh, we need to add this count to the belt. Read hand contents pulse. Good. Perfect. That should do it. Also, let's not forget to pick up our copious amounts of uh, multispectral mirrors that we've got lying around. Might have to empty my inventory a little bit before I do that. Where was it? Here we go. 
one more trip. Multi spectral mirror. And then I wonder if I should put them in uh, like a passive provider chest as well so that we can easily expand our solar up here. I think I'll do a little bit of that, but I want to deprioritize it somewhat. How about one stack? Cool. So we're going to have to set up another one of these on Nalvis. Um, don't really have any spares. I thought we set up processing units to be launched as well. Where are they? Red circuits. Oh, here it is. Processing units. And it's still absolutely annihilating our processing units on the ground here. I really need to set this up in the rail network, I think. But for now, we're going to need another one of these. And I guess I could put it here. And this goes down here. That should get built. We'll need another RoboPort. And probably won't need that big power pole. As soon as the uh, cargo rocket silo gets placed, I can configure it for Nervous Orbit Solar Panel, launch on cargo full. That should be all it takes. The rest... Oh, this is important. How many solar panels can we fit in a cargo rocket silo? 25,000. I could add a little bit of extra circuitry because I'm pretty sure I've seen that as soon as the last, um, as soon as there's something occupying the last inventory slot, launch on cargo full condition will actually trigger. So it might be a good idea to add like launch on green signal when cargo full and set it up to give it a green signal when it actually is full. Which, come to think of it, should be pretty easy to set up, because if this requester chest is receiving nothing, um, we could do a, we could do a, if, uh, everything equals zero output green signal, launch on cargo full and green signal, that would do it. That's actually a lot easier to set up than I thought it would be. Let's try it. So we'll just need to connect these red and green wires to this combinator, and then uh, feed it back to... I think this red wire would be the best idea. It probably makes no difference, but I want to make sure we're not doing any, like, signal contamination. So let's see. Launch on cargo... Full and green signal. And here comes the combinator. Green signal one, if everything equals zero. Obviously, if we just weren't requesting anything and this was empty, uh, it's it wouldn't be a problem because it's still waiting for cargo full. So it's very convenient that this condition is in the drop-down. Uh, very nice. Good design. Alright, so that's going to go there. 
and that's going to go there. So we're obviously not outputting anything yet. And as soon as we're ready to launch, there will be a green signal on this red wire. Cool. How quickly does this go through solar panels? Not very quickly. Okay, cool. We're already backed up on the multi-spectrals, of course. And this needs a destination as well. Oh, I think we did this already. Yeah, now it's landing pad. Uh, launch trigger. I'll just be lazy this time. Launch on cargo full. And implicit in that is that the landing pad, the target landing pad has to be empty. All right, I think, uh, I, I would love to see it actually work first, but I'm pretty sure that's going to be solar panel, uh, flat solar panels automatically sent back to Nalvis, although it is going to take a while. Do I have any flat, uh, regular solar panels up here still? I don't see any. Yeah, I don't think I do. Definitely don't want to forget to place the um, ammo that I brought up since we're not doing that automatically just yet. I don't remember where I put it, though. That's a bit weird. There's batteries here, so this is definitely not the stash from when I came here from the last trip. No, it was up here, wasn't it? Um, well, yeah, I'm not sure where my stuff is, to be honest. How is there one uranium up here? Is there anything else I want to do before I go back to Nalvis? I probably... Oh, no. Okay, time to go. I was literally just about to say, oh yeah, I probably should have gone back to Nalvis sooner because we had to get back because biters. Where are my... There's a capsule lying around here somewhere. There it is. Let's go. And back on goes the power armor. And combat stuff. Uh, lasers. Rockets. I can't believe I forgot about the whole biters can get into our base thing. Even if it is just a few at a time. Uh, they've devastated this area as well. Almost destroyed a significant amount of uranium. Take that. They destroyed the belts and machines. I'm not going to bother replacing that. Oh, actually. Just want to do it this way. Um, this is a trash stop. Oh, it's empty already. Okay, cool. We can get rid of that. 
Um, a whole chest full of 238, really. Uh, Alright, we'll deal with this later. Where are the biters? If there are any still here. I should probably have one Roboport ready, just so we can quickly repair. Oh, here we go. A lot of this stuff I'm obviously not going to have on my person. Any more biters still roaming around? Oh, that's unfortunate. At least they didn't get the chests. Rip blue circuit build. Let's have a look around for biters while our bots do their thing. It seems they came straight through all of this other stuff. I did see earlier they ignored the solar panels and just destroyed the artillery turret. So it's kind of hard to know exactly what they're going to have attacked. Oh. I saw movement. I thought it was a biter. Relatively mild damage, considering. Although, it's very oddly specific, the spots that they have destroyed. Gonna have to pick up some more pulverizers. Speaking of random, I need to set my requests again. Should I run down and fix this wall first? It seems like a good idea. Oh, the spawner's in here. Alright, get out of here, bots. And I should run back for resupply. Has that been destroyed? Yes, it has. Again. Okay. This is really my fault for not making that wall a lot more secure. But also the pollution cloud expanded more than I thought it would. While I didn't really add anything to the base. So we need to build a proper wall down here, even though it is a nice little choke point. You can stay for now. I'll leave this here as a uh, reminder. Okay, military. Wall Mark 5, no artillery. Uh, leave the roboports off, and then tell them not to destroy the cliffs that are only in the way of walls. I could connect this to this robo network, but then we'd get bots trying to cross this part which wouldn't be as bad as it can be. Otherwise I have to set up a whole other station. This is probably fine for at least a temporary measure. Probably. So what I might do 
is... Let's just add one per big power pole. That's going to reach easily, right? So there's extra charging stations. And then this one. That should be fine as soon as that gets built. As soon as that gets built. Seriously? Oh boy, that is a trip and a half. Why don't we speed things up a little bit? I actually didn't realize I had RoboPods in my inventory at the time of placing that. So here's uh, what I've described before a few times happening. These bots are going to try to go directly to their target. And then they're going to realize they can't make it. As soon as they get low enough on energy, they're going to turn around and go directly to the nearest RoboPort. Which in this case is not that bad. But if you've got, for example, a giant circular network or just a really big corner. Like if this was one Robo network and a bot wanted to go from here to here. It would literally just try to cross this directly. And then once it runs out of energy, it'll go directly back to the nearest Robo port. And so on and so forth. I'm uh, pleasantly surprised at just how quickly it looks like this is going to get built, actually. Let's go directly to using the spiky walls as well. Uh... Like so. And I'll lend them a hand, I guess. Why did they destroy that cliff? Oh, right, it was in the way of the lasers. That's fine, actually. Shouldn't there be artillery down here? There is. It's just that the auto-aim range is not that high. If I wanted to, I could wipe out all of this just by clicking on it. Um, but yeah, I think I will add some artillery shells to this as soon... Uh, artillery turrets to this just as soon as this is sufficiently secure. Let's not forget to place a radar. And I think that's it. I'm not going to have to pay any more attention over here. Wait, why are these regular concrete walls? There we go. Much better. Alright, so now that is secure, time to start rebuilding. Why don't we go back as quickly as we can. Now that we've got flat solar panels automatically coming to Navis, Albeit, it'll be a while before a rocket full 
comes here, obviously. Um, but now that we've got um, flat solar panels coming down here, it's going to be relatively easy to upgrade all of this. In fact, it might be a good idea to deconstruct a bunch of the regular solar panels. Just, just so that we send a rocket up sooner. Why is this not requesting? Oh, because I didn't turn this on. Wait, this is the perfect opportunity to test this. Green signal, because there's no requests. Turn the requests on. And no green signal. Perfect. Okay. Where is it? Cargo rocket sections. There we go. Get these out of my inventory, please. And then these as well. These. And these. And this. Alright, um, we definitely need to request fluid things, make it 20, and a whole lot more pipe probably than usual. Uh, chemical plants, sure. We'll Probably need a few more of those. Uh, smelters? Oh, pulverizers. I think we only need a handful. Uh, let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 8, 9, 10, 11. So let's just grab some of those manually. And... Gonna need a lot of belt. We're not rebuilding those ones. Uh... So it's mostly just fluid stuff over here, and things that we normally carry anyway. Oh, that's brutal. At least they leave the chests alone, that's nice of them. Oh yeah, we're going to need a lot more belt than usual, of course. And I brought these with me. Unfortunate. Okay. That is just about going to do it, I think. Let's head on over. Starting by fixing the pulverizers. Not much point in doubling our roboports until we recharge, actually. Oh, I might need a lot more rail than this as well. Actually, they haven't hit the rail very much. That's looking pretty good already, except for the part where we have no heavy uh, light oil. Let's just design this. Um, it would help if not for the fog of war. Let's bring this over. Actually, I think I can use the map. It's only if I want to do like Okay, never mind. Oh. oh, there we go.
Where do we need to connect this to? Over here. That should still be in the robo network. Let's check. Yep. Fantastic. And we just need to remember this corner. And probably this corner. And this one. And this one. And we should eventually see the pilot lights on these flamethrowers uh, switched on. Alright, so once that's built, uh, time to queue up adding some artillery to that. And I want to set this up as a trash stop. Take that back to... Oh. Well, that didn't work. Okay, let's see. Trash pickup. Enable, disable, every, uh, anything greater than zero. Oh, was that getting attacked? That is getting attacked. It's looking okay for now, though. Not great. Are those the super giant biters? No, I think they're regular giant biters. Yeah, that's a bit nasty, though. I'm not seeing fuel in the flamethrower turrets over here. You stuck? You are stuck. Are there no logistic bots? There are 104 out of 1700 logistic bots available here. What is going on? They're all, there's, it's full. Okay, that's not great. Um, can we set up the same thing for this real quick? And then we have to get back over there as a priority. Invalid, oh, there we go. all this. This is already gone. Deconstruct all this stuff so I don't look at it later and wonder what's happening. Run out of rail. Well, here's some. Okay. This was a circuit demonstration that we no longer need. Why do we still have the messed up ground here? That looks really weird. Kind of disturbing. Uh, we will need some power here. There we go. Alright, let's... Uh... I think the wall can handle itself for a little while. I'll drop what I've got. 
before I head up there to add some storage chests and figure out how it came to this. went well. Did we actually fully repair this section? we did. Let's continue. There's no circuitry in here or anything that uh, is dependent on memory cells or anything, luckily. I've run out of chemical plants. How many do we need? Like two? I also need some beacons. And steam engines of all things. I don't have any stone. Uh, I don't suppose I can get some. Yeah, here we go. Get that out of my auto trash. There we go. And then repair all this stuff. I suppose, uh, I suppose the next thing I should add to the mall is everything that the mall is made of so it can self-repair. Although I really wasn't expecting it to ever have to get attacked again. Love me a robot mall. A Maholic. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Yeah, it's definitely a lot more compact than the equivalent, uh, well, I was going to say the equivalent main bus base, but, uh, it remains to be seen. If we make all of the intermediate products here, there's only so much it can do, but if we ship them in, then it can do pretty much anything. Often belt raw resources to the edge of it, that makes sense. Gonna need some productivity modules. Quite a lot, actually. Why am I carrying this many uh, assembly machines? Probably because I set that request before I went to the new moon. Yeah, that'll be it. I think a hundred of these is sufficient, usually. That poor little bit of plastic and green circuits looks so sad. We're going to need to request a significant... whoops. Um, that's fine. That's not so much. Uh, beacon goes here. Let's say 50 of them. For when we come back and repair this stuff.
And this is actually taking longer than I expected. Okay. Robopod off. And let's head up to our wall. I wonder if the biter attack was part of why the storage chests ended up full. Okay. It's still able to self-repair in reasonable time, at least. And let's see what's happening here. Presumably all of our storage chests are completely full. Um, the only thing that we're putting in the trash at the moment is artillery shells. Did I not add them to the whitelist here? Oh, I see. Okay. Um, let's, uh, let's remedy that, shall we? I can't put them on the same set of constant combinators here, otherwise we'll be shipping artillery shells over this way, assuming we can still do that. Okay, artillery shell one. These are permitted. And then... So now we're actually... What? Oh, I see. Now we're actually bringing stuff here that is excess. So if this train wasn't in the way, the storage would sort itself out eventually because the trash train will come to pick this stuff up however I wonder if how much stuff have we actually got in our robo network a lot how to wait how are we requesting uranium Negative 10k. So there's a total of... There's actually that much... Uranium ammo in the system that it's getting taken back. How did this happen? We're still requesting uranium ammo. There's your answer. So it's going around in circles. Um, it's been so long since I've worked on this. Okay. Everything that we're supposed to have times negative one. subtracted from the robo network I'm guessing except this wire doesn't go anywhere that's probably the problem yeah that's probably what happened the biters broke this and we don't have a wire connecting to our logistic network read logistic network contents that green wire is connected to that so, you know what, I'm just going to put an extra robopod here. I really don't want um, that to be an issue. And all of a sudden we're not requesting anything except logistic bots. Okay. Um, so you can go home. We're also going to need to fix this rail, perhaps. No, it's already there. That's good. And... That should mean that this gets sorted out. Except... We defaulted to allowing ourselves to have 10,000 of everything that gets requested from here. Turns out we don't have that much storage space in this relatively small wall. So what I'm going to do... 
for one thing is add some storage over here. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. That's... That's a lot of bots in motion. It looks like this Omni bot is shedding bots as if it's dead skin or something. And they're falling over, because of course they are. So we've put in the temporary solution and the permanent solution. I could also have had a more specific set of numbers for each of these resources, or just lowered the maximum that we store for each of these as well. God, that really is excessive. How about 2,000? There's going to be a lot of stuff sent back to the main base. And here come our friends. Let's pay him a visit. Surprise! That's pretty nasty. Um, I thought I added artillery to... I did. There's no... There's no biter spawners in this entire area up here. Pollution does go a bit further, but still. Okay, then. Might be a project to work on while I listen to podcasts to actually clear the entire planet. Because this is getting kind of nasty. And we can play hopscotch with, uh, or leapfrog with, uh, walls with artillery shells. Speaking of which, let's add some down here. Actually, I don't want to copy-paste over the cliffs again. Oh. Uh, so that's cool. We don't have enough spiked steel walls, and none of these got placed yet. Why don't I grab some from here? Thank you. Those are exactly what I'm looking for. And we'll head down there directly. And after that, I'm going to uh, a bit more manually copy and paste the artillery in so that we're not destroying the cliffs. Where are we going? Not this way. Okay. And away we go. Is this connected to the main network? Yes, it is. Good. Uh, this wiring needs improvement. And where is this connected? Why does it look so weird on the map? Oh, I see. And then this one. And now we copy-paste in the artillery. 
actually, I think it's set up so that I can literally just put artillery here and some inserters. Let's have a look. Yep, they're just regular inserters. And I don't think we change the logistic requests at all. Since there really isn't much of a rush. To get the artillery shells in there. So there should be some turrets on the way quite soon. I see inserters. I see... I think that was a turret. Nope, that's a storage chest, actually. And a fusion reactor? An RTG, rather? That's kind of weird. I'm surprised how hard it is to find these artillery. Here it is. Fantastic. So it's going to be a minute or two. Not sure how this, um, these power switches got triggered just now. In any case. I think our trash train is going to be here for a little while. Maybe I shouldn't have set it up where it's blocking uh, this station. Oh well. I'm definitely going to drop off some of these walls right here. Oh, I never, I never added the walls to these uh, green chests. Oh, I, I think I did actually. Um, there's like a version of this that is vanilla, and a version of it that works for SE. So that probably has the requests for spiked steel walls. I'm not sure. Whatever the case, we'll put some in here, and probably don't have to worry about that too much. The actual Spiked steel walls don't get destroyed very often. Uh, we do need to connect these wires. Like so. And I think it's this one as well. So we let the biters think they can get through until they can't. And there goes our artillery. Three worms in one shot, not bad for auto-targeting. Got our light oil, fantastic. High priority target, good job. That's a bit better. Here they come. I'm pretty sure the wall can handle itself, but it certainly doesn't hurt to give it a hand. How is... oh no. Wait, did the gate not shut? Uh-oh. I th think... no, 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 please stop killing yourself. Please don't burn to death for no reason. Uh, I 
think these lasers didn't actually get activated. Why not? They should have. Yeah, that's a bit weird. Um, let's see. Constant Combinator. Red Signal. It doesn't shut the gate. Open gate, red equals zero. But it's connected to the same wire. What's the problem? It's the exact same condition on this gate. Okay, that's kind of weird, considering this one is shut. Well, it should work now. I kind of want to see another biter attack to ensure that that is the case. Which means we need some shells to get delivered over here. Good timing. And what are you going to shoot? That'll do. Hopefully this time the biters won't trick our flame turrets into roasting the laser turrets. They do indeed cross that sand. No trouble whatsoever. I'm not seeing... Oh, I understand why. I think. That's a problem, actually. Well, it's obviously a problem. So, what's happening here is if we have the two solar panels, two laser turrets, and one accumulator, The lowest that the accumulator charge gets to during the night naturally is something like 19 or 18 percent. Uh, Geki Gek, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. So, if we get attacked during the day, it takes it actually takes a while to get the accumulator charge that low. So it's taking longer than it normally would to get the charge low enough to turn on these laser turrets to shut the gate. So that's a bit of a problem. Yes, indeed, Ehe. And uh, Randy... Inak, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um, I guess... Until I think of something, we're just gonna have to remove this gate. Because I really don't know... The way we had it set up earlier was four accumulators, which was a lot um, for this little setup. But the accumulator charge that it had to drop to to make the um, biters, to signal that we've found biters, um, it, I think it responded faster. See, now it's doing it even though we're just... It's because it's it, it was night time and we used some energy earlier. I wonder if it would be better in a future design if we had a... 
storage tank right next to a flamethrower turret, as in the only thing feeding into it, that would allow it to have a lot more hit points than a bit of pipe as well. But more to the point, we could read the amount of fuel in a storage tank to decide... Oh no, wait, that's what I did ages ago. It was actually way more difficult. Well, no, all we need to do is use a latch, just like with the accumulators. Um, we detect when the light oil is going down. That's how we know we have biters. We could also do it with gun turrets, but I don't want to wait that long. I want them to be a last line of defense. And those are the only three ways to detect biters for the circuit network. Unless you want to count um, inserting shells into the artillery. I saw you use a mod where you could select buildings and see the ratios. What's this mod called? Uh, it is called Rate Calculator. Schneiser. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, so if I run it over, well, if I run it over our partially destroyed, um, red and blue circuit build, uh, it'll show us the production and consumption rates of each of these resources. Very handy. There's another one I haven't tried called Max Rate Calculator. Apparently that does work with beacons, even if the beacons aren't powered. Thanks, no worries. Alright, before I go back to continue rebuilding, we'll see... We'll see how effective the biter attack is this time. Have that set? Thank you very much for the raid. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. How was your stream? Hat trade? Yes, indeed. Soviet Republic. Interesting. They're going to go for the gate. See, this one's working. I think the gate is going to shut before they get... Wait, 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 wait. Why is the gate still open? Because I haven't linked it up here? No, that's not right. Oh, I see. And... Yeah. There we go. Was building a Soviet town. Interesting. Okay, let's head back. This is probably going to be able to defend itself. Probably. Uni Zero, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. They destroyed our mine as well. I wonder how full our rocket is of solar panels already. Uh, I forgot about this taxi. Let's go back. Using this. Oh, and the bots are trying to chase me. I suppose I could have actually used the mall, although I haven't set up um, assembly machines yet. Very difficult town builder. A lot of town builders are quite difficult, actually, I think. All right, we're here. Hey, Sydney Kansen van Ice Tea. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. We've already got 5.4k solar panels in here, but we need uh, almost five times that before we send the rocket upstairs. That's going to go straight uh, right next to our uh, flat solar panel manufactory. And once this is full of flat solar panels, it's coming straight back downstairs. Uh, 
Okay. What else are we doing? That's right, I need to rebuild the red and blue circuit uh, production area. Nope, haven't slept yet, and sunrise was 96 minutes ago. Yikes. This one you need to supply all the resources, and only way to make money is to export it to other countries. So, Rimworld? Uh, that looks good, except we might need more assembly machines and productivities. Where's the assembly machine? I can't remember. I don't want the bots to take my productivities. Yoink, here we go. 9 a.m. Rip. Oh, I should have grabbed more rail as well. Uh, we might have enough to repair it. Okay, bots. Uh, not this one. Not this one. There we go. More like city skylines, but but more difficult. Reminds me of a joke. At least you don't have a sleeping disorder. Yeah, I don't think... I, I've had bad sleep schedules before, but I don't think I've ever really had a sleeping disorder. That was surprisingly easy. Nine thirty-eight a.m. here. Okay. Uh, we need some long-arm inserters of all things. I don't think there's that many missing. We can probably handcraft. Actually, they should be up here as well. Uh, we're missing some fast inserters up here. Okay. Maybe we can get the mall to repair itself. Haven't really slept at all this weekend. Why don't you sleep? I mean, I know, but... Okay, let's go up here for inserters. And... What are we missing? Yellow inserters. We can't make fast inserters because we don't have yellow inserters. And we need fast inserters to fix this. And the bots go to the most random possible locations to drop the fast inserters. Wait, why aren't you building? Oh, those are not actually there. Iron sticks got wrecked. There we go. And these things. And this one. Alright, yellow inserters go, blue inserters go, uh, we need a chain of three for the assembly machines, it's a chain of four actually, let's put it in the middle. Gonna bother with the limits just yet. I don't think we have big electric motors here, actually. I'll just put 
uh, one stack limit on all of these because I'm in a hurry. And then we got our long arm inserters. Let's see if we can finish this build. I want to sleep but a lot, but due to my sleeping disorder, I just can't fall asleep. And when I do, I usually sleep 40 hours. Wow. Sadly, there's no pills that help. Yeah, uh, mileage may vary, but whenever I've tried sleeping pills, which is very rarely to say the least, um, they've gotten me to sleep, but the next day I've been just really sluggish. Not really worth it. I can barely sleep in total silence, so I usually have some YouTube or Twitch open. But as soon as it is just in the slightest interesting, I can't fall asleep either. Rip. Yeah, I use, um... There's a command with Windows, I think it's shutdown slash s slash t. And I think it's the number of seconds. 3600 is an hour. So I'll leave something playing sometimes until I fall asleep. Uh, is this finished? It looks like we are still missing some blue inserters. We need yellow inserters. We need burner inserters. We need cogs. We're not making cogs in the rail network yet, so that's going to bottleneck everything. Okay, let's go back to base. Oh, uh, anything else here that we need to rebuild? A evil plot. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. That ghost looks weird. It looked like it was just the modules. But apparently not. I would have thought I would have enough beacons at least. I need complete silence and darkness when trying to sleep. Yeah, it's definitely preferable. What's this? To do patch 5 Omnismel. Oh, that's an old note to self from before I abandoned the Omni Smelters. Yeah, I like some quiet noise that I can control, but um, other than that, definitely don't want noise when, well, I don't want noise period, but definitely not when I'm trying to sleep. I was lucky when I was in hospital that my room neighbor didn't care for the TV running through the night, otherwise I wouldn't have slept in three days there. Tried a lot of different pills and the thing that worked best is illegal. Mm. Okay, let's uh, speed this up a bit. Okay. Spiders have been attacking. Things look pretty good. Artillery slowly chipping away at them. So this is after the biters have been attacking every little while. It looks like this wall is doing just fine now. Okay, it did create a moment of confusion for one behemoth when it shut the gates. There's definitely a lot, a lot of room for improvement there, but it's not nothing. Medical use of certain drugs is legal, just hard to get the... Oh, is legal, just hard to get the prescription. Yeah, it depends where you are. Uh, why do I only have... Oh, there we go. 
Okay, so hopefully this is the last trip to repair all this stuff. I should probably... What is this square? What? Why is it all pink? Oh, it's the turret plus... Okay. That looked pretty weird. Alright, uh, I should pick up more rail. I might need it. And... Oh, we probably have more than enough stuff. Except for maybe inserters. To fix everything else. And I've got some strict limits on this. Let's fix that. I don't think I need any more chemical plants, do I? Mm, nope. Can't get any kind of prescription here. Yeah, that's kind of cringe. Well, not kinda. It is. Alright, let's head over again. And after that, I think I'll do a little check on our new moon and see if it really is uh, being self-sufficient. Question is where your here is then. Indeed. I live in Donkey Kong. All right, let's fix these. Hey, Imo. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Denmark. Uneducated US guy over there. Plus E. Just K. Just kidding. No worries. Alright. I think we've repaired everything except for this uh, iron mine. Let's go do that. And of course my bots just jumped out again. I live in Donkey Kong, bro. <laughs> That's just all I could think of in the moment. But also, usually you'd expect the abbreviation to be at the start of the syllable. Don't need that one. Oh, that went through most of our productivity modules very quickly. And we ran out. Can I maybe scavenge some? From miners that we don't need anymore. We need five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That'll do it. Why is this not powered? Oh. That looks a bit weird. This thing isn't destroyed or anything. How did this happen? Oh, I think I know where this was. This was part of our wall earlier. So that should power up our drills. Fantastic. 
and we continue mining. Okay. Let's check on uh, Tolibai. Not overrun with biters, I hope. I can't see a history of whether we've been shooting down the meteors for this planet, right? But it should be fine. There goes some um, coal and vulcanite blocks sent back to Nalvis. Fantastic. Uh, did I set up a shortcut for this? I don't think I did. Control 4 is not taken. Let's do that. Oh, uh, I need to actually create a new pin. Control 4. Tolubai. Okay, and there goes some um, uh, core fragments. Fantastic. I really need to... Oh my goodness. Wait, how many of these do we have? 10,000. Okay. We're sending uranium core fragments over here a lot faster than I expected. Let's go take advantage of them. Let's see what our new government will achieve in that regard. Organization for pleasure. Well, good luck. So... We'll have to set up the whole shebang all over again with, um... This could actually take up a lot of space, right? Dealing with the uranium core fragments. Actually, no. All I need to do is use pulverizers on the uranium core fragments directly and ship away the, the results. There won't be any fluids. We'll get regular core fragments, stone and uranium out of this. We can put that into the rail network and it'll be dealt with. Also, I need to go and fix this. It was something I couldn't fix remotely. Uh, let's see if I remembered this right. Yeah, these are all solids and they go straight into the rail network. So that's, that's going to be pretty easy, actually. Okay. Um... I guess the only question is where to put them. We've got so many of these already. I could put it up here. That's already a very busy place rail-wise. This is supposed to be only temporary until we set up a rail block for this stuff. But... I could change the target location for uranium core fragments. I'll do that after I set this up. We need to automate getting rid of what we've got here. Okay. So that means six of these. Uh, three tiles apart, I think. Requester chests. We need a beacon. And output. Uh, that can just go like this. Quest of chests.
How quick is this going to be? Twenty one point six core fragments per second, followed by good suppliers with ignoring that some of them are going to go to here. Only nine point four per second. Okay, cool. So this is going to be more than enough for now. Uh, and then we're going to need a train station. Um, I guess we could set it up like this. That should definitely not be a regular signal right here. And we need the train to be able to get out afterwards. This should be fine. I think. How do I even... Okay, that's good. Except for this part. Perfect. That might not be long enough. One, two... One, two, three... It's not long enough if I'm going to do a long train, which I am. Alright, we'll just have to do another... We either need to be able to have this leave going back this way... Or... Have it be able to go in and out like so. I think this is the way to go about it. How much space do we need here? One, two, three, four, five, six. Um, regular signal comes here. And then I think we're going to have to. And yeah, that's not so bad. It's actually pretty good. Quality depends who you buy from. Okay. Let's see. We need some steel chests. We need everything to go into the steel chests. Move these for now. And then that goes here. Oh, actually, we could do it like this. And then we'll do filtered balanced loaders. High priority pickup station. So as soon as there's a train load, train will come to pick it up of whichever resource. Uh, set filters blacklist, and then don't forget the red wire before we copy paste. Get to make sure that's all connected. All right, cool. From here we say uh, each. Whoops. 
each divided by negative 24, output each, gives us the negative average, which will get compared to the positive, the amount that's actually in the chests. That reaches very well. Oh, no it doesn't. We need this. List. Okay, um, that should be it. Let's see how that goes for now. Uranium fever. Everything is blue. So how quickly does this go through? 3.6 core fragments per second. That should be fine. And then we need a system to load these into the trains. This is actually a good opportunity to try figuring out that uh, more robust, precise loading system that I had in mind. Although we will be setting it up so that we only send a train here if it's going to be full, so I don't know how useful that's going to be in this instance. Okay, so first thing we do is get the amount that the train is asking for, minus, actually let's do a green wire there so that it's going to be, that's not going to be a straight line, but I could rotate this around. No, I can't. Wait, can I rotate that? Yeah. Constant combinator goes here, red wire, and we remove these nuisance signals. Each greater than zero is allowed to pass through. Uh, we also need to subtract what's actually already in the train. Each times negative one. Output each. And what I've got in mind is a simpler and more robust precise loading system for the train. Uh, it will be a little bit slower, but it should be much easier for someone who's newer to circuits to replicate, and it's probably going to be more robust against braking. Um, so what I want to do is just have all of these set to a full stack size most of the time. So far, so same. Uh, we have one... Well, it's not necessarily going to be a precise loader so much as it could go three over. All right. So first step is each divided by 24. Output each. Stack size. Uh, let me think about this. Stack size should be 12 by default. Uh, 
Actually, I don't think we're going to bother dividing by 24. It's going to be something like uh, each greater than, I don't know, 100, 200? What's the maximum? 24 times 12, 288 actually. That's more than I had in mind. What if we do set the stack sizes like we used to, and then when we switch over to the final stack inserters, we just insert one at a time? I think that's going to look the same circuit wise until the last part, right? Let's try that for now. Each divided by 24, output, what, the, uh, uh, output each, same thing, but output stack size, because we can't just use whatever filter we're on for the stack size. Red wire goes here, and then Uh, once it gets down to the point where it's less than 24. Yeah, I think we just go decide a combinator. Uh, if we've got less than 24, let's check that. Does a uh, constant combinator. So we've got like 24 uranium that we're still inputting. Stack size of 1 times 24. And if this is less than 24, then we just output 1. And stack size one. I could add just like a hmm. I I almost want to add a constant combinator to this to just feed a stack size of one to these all the time. It would be simpler and easier and require one less long combinator. I don't know if that's going to throw things off. Let's not do it. So each less than 24 output 1s as well. And that goes to uh, just our one inserter per cargo wagon. And that would have worked um, down here, where we've got uh, a small train going to the design that I used for the large train pickups. Because it's got three more items that it's trying to put in, but there's no... Um, divided by four doesn't give us anything. It also requires one less combinator. The only downside is it's going to load the last bit a little bit slower, um, but that's literally when we get down to less than 24 items. So worst case, if we had uh, exactly 23 items to go, divide that by four, uh, we'd have like five swing, uh, five and a bit swings. Oh. Like six, is it six swings? E each of these inserters would only have to swing a few more times is what I'm trying to say. Okay. Uh, why don't I replicate that? down at our station over here and we'll try implementing that and see if it works. 
Lord Gaming, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're do, uh, doing well. Have fun and don't be too loud so that I have a chance to sleep. Okay, no worries. I do have a volume limiter on this, so even if I get startled by something, hopefully it's not too bad. I'm trying to go to bed third time for today. Good luck, uh, Sydney. Von Ice Tea. Moving to Germany. Okay. Let's, uh, so this should be set up correctly already, right? We're already mostly balanced loading this stuff. And then, oh, I forgot almost. We need to actually tell LTN what we've got here. Is that connected? Nope. Uh, long trains only. And one train at a time. Very high priority. And request... Uh, provide threshold should be provide stack threshold, 160. So we're only sending something here if we have a full train. And now we just need to connect this to here. The contents of the chests go to the logistic train stop. All right, let's try it. So we'll get, uh, we'll get rid of all this. Send you to your destination for now. And give this a try. Uh, the contents of the train go here. The multiply by negative one from the contents of, not that's the contents of the train. That's the what the train is asking for. It's snowy. Nice. Snow ain't vanilla. No, it isn't. Uh, I think I just realized what about your nervous base was wigging me out so much. <laughs> Fair enough. It's actually built into um, space exploration, having these uh, uh, different biomes. Okay, red wire goes here. Green wire goes here. And we should see another train sent here relatively soon. As soon as this one unloads, really. Alien biomes, that's the one. Thank you, Lone Wolf. And uh, welcome, welcome. Good, just, good to see you again. Same to you, Kissing Walnuts. Alright, so it should just be... A f as soon as this gets back to the depot, I think we'll see another... Well, actually, no. There's probably enough U-238 up here. For the moment. What's the negative number? Negative 5,000. We've got like 2,500. Request threshold is 40 stacks, which is 4,000. Yeah, this isn't happening anytime soon. Let's bump it up a bit, shall we? It's still plenty of storage space. A new satellite was launched, but didn't find anything new. We've seen that message before. Okay, cool. Train is on its way. Uh, 
and it should be um Come to think of it, it probably shouldn't need to go to the remainder. Although, consistently we've had... Oh, right. Yeah, I think I know how that works. If my... Trying to run through this simulation in my head is correct, we may actually see this thing load just... as fast as anything. Like, it's not gonna... All of the, all six of the inserters are going to keep going until it's full, I suspect. I kind of want to see the stack size and this at the same time. Okay, once it gets to 24, we might see... Oh, uh, the stack size is already down to 1. Oh, there it goes. Fantastic. So, obviously it's going to take a little while to finish, but it will load precisely, unless you're loading a long train and it's not a multiple of 2, 3, 4, whatever. Um, but more importantly, it is a precise loader that is not going to get stuck. It also requires fewer combinators, and I would argue is easier to understand. I think I'll use this design in future. Well, also the fact that it works with different sized trains uh, picking up from the station. Nice. Um, should we maybe have more... How fast can we produce this? 23 per second. It doesn't actually go that fast, but still. I should probably bother to have more of these chests here. Rip tree. And then I should probably have a balanced loader. It's a bit late for that. Not with uh, even distribution, it's not. Wow, that... Oh, you were only asking for, like, ten or something, weren't you? You were asking for two. Okay. Where are you taking your two... Uh... Fuel. Over to the nuclear plant. I can live with that, that's fine. Um... In this instance, anyway. We could do a lazy balanced loader in that... <laughs> uh, well, I say lazy, it just doesn't have a combinator. We just read all of this and it has to be full before they'll pick anything up. Let's do that. There's no need for speed here. Read belt contents hold. Uh, read hand contents hold. Enable disable. Uh, actually, I don't think we need the read hand contents on this one. Uranium equals uh, six times eight. Six eight's forty eight, I think. Yeah.
I do wonder why we're not seeing fuel getting made right now. Um, there's no uranium here. Are you stuck? Nope. Looks like it's working just fine, actually. I think we need a smarter system here to ensure that all of the Coverex machines get, uh, there's actually hardly any here. That's weird. I think we should probably prioritize the fuel. Oh, that's wrong. How did I do this earlier? Uranium-238 has to be greater than 100 before it moves past. That's actually fine. Oh my goodness. Maybe I should have limited these chests. It wouldn't have made that much difference, like, ultimately, though. I think it's actually... Uh, never mind, I was going to say it seemed like a kind of a decent uh, pseudo-balanced loader plus limiter, but no, not really. It might also do better if we had a constant input of uranium, to be fair. Okay, yeah, that'll... That'll get us some fuel. Although it's going to have to back up on that side and then the other side before the inserters pick anything up. I guess that's okay. So now it comes down here. We're already low on the uranium. Did I speed module this stuff over here? Yeah, I did. We're making only 17 uranium per second. It is per second, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, that's pretty good. Wait, this, this inside is not doing its thing. That's surprisingly bad, actually. Huh. Alright, let's do a proper balancer. Uh, arithmetic. Red wire goes directly to the chest. Uh, everything less than or equal to zero. Negative average. Each divided by negative six. They're all active. That can't be right. If you're below average, it should be less than zero, right? What am I missing here? Each divided by negative six output each. If I take some of these, that's not working. Oh, they don't all have the red wire. There we go. Or the settings for that matter. Let's just fix that with even distribution, and 
put some of this in, whoops, some of this here so that we can see it in action. Oh, one more stack. Okay, good. And then... How's our solo going? 8.4 thousand, that's not that bad. We could definitely speed it up, but... I think we're bottlenecking on glass anyway. Yeah, the uh, glass bus is looking a bit sad. We're still producing it locally. We should probably add a station for that. Are you stuck? You are stuck. How did this happen? Uh, we're asking for the absolute maximum of stone brick. I've learnt to stop doing that, but still, it shouldn't, um... Given the request stack threshold, this still shouldn't be able to happen. Probably part of it is that this isn't totally evenly unloading. Except it should be, because we've got a balanced... Unloader. We've actually got the strict type of balanced unloader. That's weird. Anyway, we can partly solve this problem by just not asking for quite so much stuff. Is this stuck as well? Oh, we're full of vulcanite. Oh, that's right, I forgot a while ago. It turned out... Okay, why is this... Are we still... Are we bottlenecking on processing the vulcanite? No, this is fully stocked. How on earth... We, we've had trains deliver Vulcanite here. Oh, I think I know what to do. It's probably only requesting a train load or two. Um, yeah, two train loads. Let's bump it up to six or seven. Um, actually, this is a good opportunity. 112,000. Okay. With a request stack threshold of a full train load, having an empty space of like 3k, 3,200 3, actually, should definitely not be a problem there. But what I want to see here is, does LTN... Where is it? Let's just double check we've got all those. Yes. And yes. And I think there's one more. Okay. Will LTN balance out the Vulcanite blocks across these stations without doing without me doing some kind of dynamic prioritization system. Is it to what extent is it built in? Also, why is this train stuck? Looks like the usual problem. Well, this is a good opportunity to implement that new loading system. I'm surprised, I'm surprised it has this problem, but it can go for so long without manifesting. Um, there's definitely plenty of copper here. 
you may go. And we're not going to need these two. We are going to need these two. Oh, these are decider combinators now. And it's uh, each greater than, no, less than 24. Output one each. Well, I guess the each doesn't really matter. I think I did it as a one over here. Where is it? Yeah, it's just sort of consistent across these two. It actually makes no difference though, because it's just setting the filters. Um, and each less than 24 output 1s for stack size. No need to get the remainder of divided by 24. That just goes here. And that should be that. It was four combinators, right? I think I only reduced the count by one. Yeah, it is four combinators. Okay. The space that we need here is a little bit different. All right, let's see this thing in action. So we should see the exact same thing play out across uh, the four different cargo wagons. Once they are almost full, it'll go to just one inserter per cargo wagon, inserting one item at a time. And that should actually make it impossible to end up with an inserter sticking out at the end. There's no risk of, like, miscalculating. That's perfect. And it barely takes any longer to load. Literally just three more swings. Fantastic. I think I'll use that as a standard now. Uh, so let's catch that in over here. We don't need the divide by four or the remainder. We do need this. This goes here and this goes here. Very simple operation. And uh, we do need that one. Let's be careful. Let's patch the other ones. It's these three that we can remove. Remainder and then divide by four. And then copy paste what we've got here. Check that's the one I'm actually standing next to. Yes. Line it up with the rail. And I probably forgot to do the same thing for the steel pickup. And we'll fix that after these ones. So if I'm not mistaken, this should be pretty much impossible to break. Is that all of them? I think it is. Here's some stuff I forgot to rebuild. Anything else around here? Uh, not really. That looks a bit weird on the map though. Oh, I think I know what that is. Yeah, that is a 
crafting combinator blueprint settings. Sometimes they get left behind like this. You can get rid of them by placing a crafting combinator over that tile and then picking it up again. Or maybe even by blueprinting, like having a bot put it down and then deconstruct it. Uh, I'm not sure. All right, let's check the steel drop off, uh, pickup section. So what are we doing here? Each divided by four, each. Wait, what? We're not doing stack size for this one? Did I just forget to put stack sizes on the steel loader? It looks like it. Let's see, we're reading what the train is asking for, minus the contents of the train. Uh, steel times one, that gets rid of the superfluous um, uh, signals. We only have to load one type of resource here, so that's all we need. Each divide by 24 output each, remainder 24, each divided by by four. Hmm. Yeah, that's really weird. I wonder why... I don't remember removing those later. Oh well, we're gonna re... Uh, redo this anyway. So we don't need the remainder one. We do need to do this again, but output S for stack size. And connect this like so. And then we need to divide by four. A couple of decider combinators. Each less than 24, output one each. Same thing, but output S for stack size. Connect to one inserter per cargo wagon. And the divided by 24 connects to all 24 inserters. Cool. Let's patch that. One, two, three more of these to go. I'll just remove all of those. Make absolutely sure. Oh. We get to witness it. Let's check it out. Yeah. It hasn't cost us that much time. I mean, we've got extra trains anyway, but... Uh, turns out the steel trains have been loading very slowly. Because we've got a stack size of one. Uh, 16,000 divided by 24, 666 and a bit swings. Um, that's how long it takes to load this. On the plus side, there's absolutely no way that you would end up having some inserters sticking out afterwards. I guess that's your answer to the absolute easiest way to set this up. If you can tolerate a relatively long train loading time, uh, just set your inserters to have a stack size of one. And there's no way that they'll be sticking out afterwards. But yeah, once this train leaves, um, we'll be deleting that as well. Devil train? Oh, right. 666, six, six, yeah. It's 666 six, six and two thirds, to be fair. Okay, let's patch this in. I think we can just copy it like this. And down here as well. And 
around here. The red on the map makes it nice and easy to find. This one is the one we actually did already. And... Oh, minor detail. Make sure we connect that as well. And this. So... That goes there. We... Oh. Maybe I should have waited until I removed the old inserters. You can see like a double up on the wire, wire there. That looks good actually. And... This is the one that we fixed to begin with. And that looks good. Cool. Okay. I don't think our trains are going to get stuck here anymore. Case in point. I'm eager to see this work. Fantastic. Alright. Um, so whenever I find a train stuck because a precise loader has failed, because there's like three items left to put in the train and it's not a division of four or something like that, um, or because somehow inserters ended up sticking out from beforehand, uh, I think I'll patch this to... The new design. Ever so slightly slower to load at the end. Uh, much more reliable and simpler and fewer combinators as well. Looks like we've got plenty of copper. Those are some slow trains. Are you not running them on nuclear fuel? Um, I think we may have set up the infrastructure to get nuclear fuel. Let's see. Uh, currently we're just requesting solid rocket fuel. We do have nuclear fuel here though. Quite a lot of it actually. Um, and it when we set this up, I was actually shocked at how quickly it was getting made as well. So it probably is about time to move over to nuclear fuel. And the only question is... Uh, I think I'll leave that the same, actually. That would put just a little bit of nuclear fuel in each chest. No, I have a better idea. Why don't we set these up to put rocket fuel on one side and nuclear fuel on the other? And... Uh... Hmm... Gonna have to change something about this setup if I do it like that. I could always set it up so that we put rocket fuel in one chest and nuclear fuel in the other and keep the same unloader. That reminds me, I don't know if I mentioned it or not, but I did play around with... Uh-oh. Wait, what is flashing over here? Is there some stuff not built? There's some stuff not built. Let's go over there for now. Uh, an idea I played with for a little while designing this instead of having this 
huge belt thing over here to merge uh, full belts into half belts. Um, I actually had green circuits on this side and plastic on this side for the drop-offs. Uh, it worked okay, except that one station like this was not enough throughput. But it was only after I finished building all of this that I realized, oh, I probably could have had green circuits, plastic, green circuits, plastic. Uh, and that would have worked just fine. And I wouldn't have needed this massive contraption to put full belts of plastic and green circuits into half belts of each. This is a balancer. This part's necessary. But yeah, just a thought. Uh, let's make sure we actually do finish repairing this thing. Can you please make a blueprint for it as well? Absolutely. Uh, which blueprint are we talking about? The Vario? Can you have filters on the inserters at the depot? And if your nuke fuel loading station has more than X, use nuke fuel? Uh, yes. Only thing you need to do is not overload the station, or the unload station with both fuels. Yeah. I haven't thought of how I'm going to prioritize putting the nuke fuel in the rocket fuel, uh, in the trains instead of the rocket fuel. I have set that up before, but I wonder if I can do it with... what's missing up here? Uh, with the one inserter and chest, the way it's set up now. Well, whatever it is, we just built it. Because the way we did this in another playthrough was... Imagine having a chest for each type of fuel inserters, and one of them was just like... If there's no nuclear fuel, you're allowed to put in rocket fuel. Um, I don't know how we could prioritize one or the other. There's probably some arbitrary order of putting them in. Well, actually, the train's processed fuel? Where are you getting processed fuel still? You're also on processed fuel. Vehicle acceleration 175%, 180%, not much different. Uh, I'm still curious as to how so many of them are... Okay, that one's been moving over to rocket fuel. The easiest way to patch this over to nuclear fuel would be to just remove the request for rocket fuel here. If we're very lucky... Oh... You're sticking out. That does not help. But I was going to say, if we're very lucky, um, I should probably remove the stack size on these. If we're very lucky, the inserter will just arbitrary, arbitrarily prioritize the nuclear fuel over the rocket fuel. Uh, considering that the solid rocket fuel is on the left of nuclear fuel here, I suspect that is not the case. Um, when it comes to signals, uh, the ones on the left get prioritized if you're doing some kind of any function. If you use colors with lights, it'll take red over any of these others. Green is second highest priority, blue and so on. Uh, if you have a anything greater than zero output anything, you also get the same behavior. I guess we could check right here. So yeah, you can see right there, red is a higher priority. I think letters are probably a higher priority than the lights. They come up because they're listed up here. Yep. And generally things that are listed on the pages that come first. Nope. I guess signals come first. I don't know. Whatever the case. If... um. 
if solid rocket fuel is not a higher priority than nuclear fuel, it is. If anything, I would expect inserters to arbitrarily put in the solid rocket fuel first. I could add combinators, but I really don't want to for this. It would be something like if solid rocket fuel, uh, sorry, if nuclear fuel greater than zero output solid rocket fuel times negative a lot. Um, and then we have uh, set filters on a filter inserter here. If it didn't take two long combinators to do that, uh, that is what I would do here. Can you test setting nuke fuel first as a filter? Setting nuke fuel first. Oh, you mean like, um, like nuke fuel goes here and then solid fuel goes here? We could try it. Let's go get some nuke fuel. Uh, I didn't put the nuke fuel in first. Hello. Interesting. Um, if we reverse that, does it give us rocket fuel first? No. What? Is it just... Is it just giving us nuke fuel first, arbitrarily? Hold on. Would a regular inserter do that? I think it does. I'm glad we ran this little experiment. I think it's the filter slots order. We just tried it the other way around, though. Um, here, we'll do it where we've got a bit more room. Uh, rocket fuel, nuclear fuel, inserter. That's nuclear fuel. Filter inserter. Uh, ro solid rocket fuel, nuclear fuel. And here we'll do the opposite. And solid fuel first gives us nuclear fuel. Nuclear fuel first gives us nuclear fuel. Okay, the arbitrariness is on our side. The only problem though is uh, because there's rocket fuel in the trains already, that's not going to be enough. Unless we just stop requesting solid rocket fuel, which we could do that, I guess. Uh, my inventory is too full. Yeah, I suppose we could just stop requesting solid rocket fuel. Um... The only other way to do it is to, as I said, have a couple of chests, uh, make it so that we either use combinators or like have two chests, two inserters, and if nuclear fuel is zero, you're allowed to enter you know, to put in solid rocket fuel. We probably shouldn't have any more problems with uranium though, not that uh, we have had some for a while. But yeah, we're getting infinite uranium from, uh, what's it called again? Tolubai. And for now, at least, we're having trouble uh, spending it. So, I might want to redesign this at some point just so that it can request both and prioritize nuclear. 
but I think this is fine actually. So let's see, 40 is a stack of, well not a stack, a cargo wagon full of nuclear fuel. There should be a train on the way here pretty soon. Oh, wait. I think I set it up so that... Yeah, no. Let's ask for, like, two small cargo wagons. Otherwise, those three nuclear fuel in there are going to block it. Did I even set up this station yet properly? Uh, looks like I did. Yep, there we go. Fantastic. The only thing I can think of is that the nuke fuel has a lower index number when it iterates, and that's why it picks, uh, picks that item. Yeah, it's definitely something like that. It's uh, something arbitrary, which is fine. And it just happens to work in our favor here. But we're going to have to stop giving the trains uh, rocket fuel in order for them to actually get the nuclear fuel uh, inserted. Because this uh, these stacks have to run out first. Um, so let's copy this setting. Oh, it didn't. Because I left the navigation satellite. It's like swapping to another character, I think. Also, I forgot to set this. There we go. That should allow the nuclear fuel in there a bit quicker. I don't think it's going to matter. We should probably make some more depots like this as well. That's interesting. Why is it taking the trash train so long? Oh. Jeez, we're still deconstructing this thing. Oh my goodness. That's going to take a while. Maybe I should make some more trash trains, but to do that I need to make... Oh no. Did I not put a limit on this? Train limit 1 it's going to take so long. Please return to base. Actually go to a different trash pickup. Like this one, apparently. Oh yeah, I remember setting that up. But yeah, I should probably... We're at the point, I think, where we need to set up more trash trains. Um, but other than that... Oh, what was the... for the loading one swing. Okay, yes. Let's make a blueprint for that and do a little posty woasty, shall we? Um, I might just... Should I just use this one? Yeah, that's pretty good. We don't need to worry about I should make a vanilla one as well. Let's jump into the editor. Uh, mods. Editor extensions. I usually like to start a new game when I'm dealing with LTN stuff just because you get requests all over the place, unless you remember to turn off all of the constant combinators. Alright, single player, uh, new game, editor extensions, we can make the vanilla one 
with space exploration active and LTN. Okay. This is not really my color. And running this fast is, feels a bit weird. Still a little bit fast. That's a bit better. Okay. Vanilla version first. Let's do some rail. And a train stop. Um, should I do it horizontal? Since the blueprint shows up like that. Sort of. Okay, we need to assume the amount of stuff. Let's say this is um, iron plate pickup. We need to assume that the train is picking up a certain amount of stuff. I think. I'll just put it where the LTN constant combinator would be. And we need to subtract the contents of the train each times negative one and then normally that would go through a decider combinator but I don't think we need it this time so that just goes straight to each divided by 24 whoops output each, same thing, but output S for stack size. And that can go here. Iron plate 16k. And then uh, let's see. Do we bother with this filter inserters if we're just using this as an enable disable? I think we do. Because otherwise you're trying to go like anything greater than, no, wait, S is something. Yeah, so let's say, um, set filters. Uh, set stack size S. Connect the red wire for all of them. Whoops. And then we do the same thing again, but decider combinators each less than 24. Did I accidentally type 23 here at some point? Because I almost typed 23 just now. Uh, each less than 24, output 1 each, and S for stack size. Same inputs to these two. And those go to 1 inserter each per cargo wagon. Um... Let's put in some infinity chests, iron plate, and we need a train to test this. Oh, 
go to iron plate pickup until inactivity. Well, let's set an arbitrary limit. Um, uh, item count iron plate equals fifteen thousand seven hundred and seventy two. Let's see if this works. We're going to have to set the same number here. Give it some super fuel. And drop off station. Uh, iron plate. Drop off. Some more infinity chests. Except these ones will be empty. Uh, let's get some super inserters. Uh, Blitcher, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. You can turn off LTN from the mod settings. Uh, they'll all go to a depot. Uh, yeah, but usually when I'm like designing like this, I'm often working with LTN stations as well. Okay, so we're going to try to load exactly 15,772... Iron plate. Let's um not remove the unfiltered items for a sec so we can count this the first time. There's other ways we could count it, but this is the easiest. And let's see how this goes. Wait for empty cargo and then you know what, just wait five minutes. Okay, off you go. So once it's getting pretty close to full, um, we should see these slow down. That's the count of what's actually in the train. 13,000. And there it is. So we should have um, exactly 15,772. The fact that none of these inserters are sticking out afterwards is... This is the main reason that I make these circuits, because I combine stations, uh, pickup stations. And if they are sticking out afterwards, it's a problem. Um... If I read all of these as a circuit, the trouble is... Well, okay, this is actually a good teachable moment as well. Uh, let's copy this, and this, and this. And we'll need to do some... Uh, divide by 10, remainder 10, I think. Each divided by 10... Each uh, remainder ten. Power. Okay, so remainder ten is two. So that's the last digit, right? Divided by 10 is 1.5k. Okay. How do I get the um, second last digit? The total is 15,772. 
I think we divide by 10 a number of times and then get the remainder. Right? 7. Okay. I think this is right. This is turning into a mess, but that's okay. 157. Seven, and then we divide that by ten, I think. Uh, whatever. I think we can see that it's the right number. Um, oh, so that works, I believe. And how can I put a signal here that just says, this is the number of items that you expect the train to pick up. Uh, request a chest, maybe? I'll put train and then request. Okay. So let's blueprint that. Whoops. Vanilla precise loader. Robust. Put a arithmetic combinator since we're counting. Whoops. And train stop names, sure. Okay, description. Um, loads a precise count items. Uh, it could actually go over. If you're not loading a multiple of four. Because you have, if you have multiple cargo wagons, uh, that's greater than one cargo wagons and multiple of four. Wait, did that number that I set just happen to be a multiple of four? Divided by four. It did. Huh. Okay then. I'm glad that's the case, otherwise I would have been confused about this for a little while. Alright, let's look at our blueprint again. Loads a precise count of items, unless, car unless greater than one cargo wagons, and not multiple of four. Um, or is it multiple of number of cargo wagons? I think that's right. Switches to one loads somewhat fast. Firstly, it loads fast and switches to stack size one and one insert a wagon once. Less than 24 items remaining. Okay, cool. A C for cat. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Let's do the LTN version. Uh, so this is going to be same thing here. How was your stream? I won't rotate the logistic train stop this time. Read train contents. Um, let's just remove send to train just for clarity's sake. Okay. 
ships. Good, thanks. Almost got spaceships working properly. Nice. What would you do if your sound redeems stopped working? Uh, figure out a way to fix them. <laughs> Playing SE as well. Hey, Kingflo. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Thanks, the West dude. Right, so these are actually exactly the same. And red wire goes here, green wire goes here, and then I think that's it. Oh, wait, I almost forgot an important step. Uh, move this over a bit. Uh, we need to remove certain signals from what we get out of logistic train stop output. That is to say, encoded positions of uh, every locomotive and positions of locomotive for some reason. Same things for the cargo wagons. And you'd also have to remove, like, the other encoded positions if for some reason you had a mixed uh, type of train. But I think this is fine for an example. Uh, each greater than zero, output each. And then this goes here. And this also goes here. I think that's a bit clearer. In fact, I should probably that like so. That's much clearer for someone figuring it out, right? Mm, I'll bring this one over here. That's better. All right. Select new contents. Fantastic. Uh, robust, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Okay, um, each greater than zero, output each. Negative a million signals we don't want, connect to logistic train stop. Almost forgot to multiply contents of train by negative one. Divided by 24 each and S for stack size, less than 24, stack size one each one. That should do it. Now we just need to make a uh, LTN stop to test it. Let's see. Uh, let's do the same thing over here. Uh, constant combinator. I'll turn it off for the moment. And plate negative. What was that number again? I want to do the same number. 15,772. Whoops. Iron plate. And then we need a train. Give it a bit of the old super fuel. Uh, it needs a depot stop as well. This can be the depot, that's fine. Stop is depot. That's all it takes. All right, once I press play on that and set that constant combinator, we're ready to go. I think this is all correct. Only thing left to do is uh, put some iron in here. Actually, I should probably have just 
move this up here. This will make it easier to remove from the blueprint. Iron plate. What's wrong with this one? What? Um... What's wrong with these two? Oh, there they go. That was a bit odd. Oh, maybe I didn't have them in my inventory. Except I would have expected... I guess these super items may not be part of what's in here. Okay, let's copy that down this way. And then I think we're good to go. It's called editor mode. Uh, yep, it is. the mod is called editor extensions. And if you go to a uh, new game, you can find the scenario. Uh, so why are we not... No station supplying iron plate could be found in network. Oh, I forgot the minor detail of reading what's in these chests. So let's do that. And... That goes here. Here it comes. I guess I'll copy this uh, travesty over here. Except that doesn't quite line up. Alright, we should see... Oh, just in time. I think that was working correctly. So once this is unloaded, two, seven, seven. Oh, that one's been doing its thing some more. One, five, seven, 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 two. Yep. Yeah. Okay, cool. That is working. Let's blueprint it. And. I might just make a copy of this and edit it, just to make it a bit easier. LTN, precise loader, robust. Same description. Train stop names. Uh, select new contents. Get rid of the special stuff. And I believe we are good. Okay. Let's make a little blueprint book, shall we? Um, so I can upload this as one thing. Uh, precise, loader, robust. That should do it. Let's grab the blueprint string. And... Uh, create, blueprint string goes here, put a slider, bust, description, train station that loads a precise count of items, circuit counter, thanks for the yay emo. And then, why don't we just screenshot this? Actually, no, let, 
Oh no. Uh, is this not working? How did this happen? Maybe we should test it a little more. Except it was working. Did I interfere with it somehow? Uh, pace you. Thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Okay, you can skip that for now, please. I wonder if this didn't get unloaded. No, there's definitely plenty of room. The inserters should absolutely not be out of sync like that. Pretty sure these are all the same. And... You're stuck because you've got slightly too much... Huh. Well, it got overloaded a little bit, but that's... The inserters did reset themselves to the right place. I wonder how that happened. Of course, with LTN, it'll go greater than or equal to, so we wouldn't have caught that error if it did happen. I could probably set a smaller number so that this doesn't take so long to test. We'll give it one more go. And... perfect. I don't understand how... Maybe I disconnected or broke something for a second, or... I don't know. I can't actually find anything wrong with it. A watched precise loader never breaks. So I came in mid-build. What are we building here? Um, someone asked for the blueprint for the precise train loaders. And I made a simpler version uh, recently that is supposed to be a lot more reliable. Um, but we caught this vanilla version of it that I just built uh, misbehaving. Well, we didn't actually catch it misbehaving. We caught the aftermath and... Now, as we watch it, it never has a problem. 120... One, one, two, three, four. Let's go. No problem. 1,234. Iron plate. Easy. No, it may have overloaded... Oh, hold on. One, two, three, four. That's not divisible by four, is it? It is not. Okay, so we're two over, I think. Probably. Uh, one, two, three, six. That's not right either. How, how many... How many of these did we load? It would have been one, two, three, eight, I think. No? 115... Uh, 315... times 4. 1,260? Wait. How did we load 30 extra things? 
if we're setting the stack size based on divided by 24 and then as soon as we would go over we switch over to should this be less than or equal to 24? No, if it was 24, then all of these would insert one each, and that would be fine. Also, how is this negative one? Oh, we're 26 over, that's why. Hmm. It rounds up, maybe. In the last train, there were less than 15. Uh, less than 15, what? So, let's set some other number that's divisible by 4. Um, 128. I think this train's already asking for a lot. We'll do... The next one will be 128. That should work. I suppose we could add logic to this that's like... If... Divided by 4 and so on, but I don't really want to do that. You could put something to pull out the other side if it's over, yeah, but if we're doing... I mean, this happened because I didn't give it a multiple of 4. Um, 1280, let's go. We should have no problems loading that. Oh, except I need to set this to... 1,280. Yep. Perfect. Well, it might just have to be a mystery how it broke the first time. Which I really don't like to post, but... I mean, if you want to learn from this, this is it. Uh, we need to make a screenshot... How about I just screenshot both of these? Maybe I should have screenshot while it was loading with... Um... Uh, let's just do this. That's what we usually do. Wagon? In the last train, there was less... Oh, less than 15. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense, because it wasn't a multiple of four. Okay. Let's uh, crop this. And... Paste that there. Was it because you made a blueprint of it during loading? I doubt it. Anything's possible. You could put something to... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pull the others out if it's over. Absolutely. Definitely a good idea if you're dealing with um, super precise ones in general. Alright, here is the uh, blueprints for anyone who wants it. Let's jump back into space exploration, shall we? And I'll have to use sync mods. Thanks for the yay, Vario. You're welcome, no worries. More colloquially cheetah mode? How dare you. Could be knighted. Plays on checkerboard, don't know if he plays chess, but he knows... A checkmate. Oh. Oh, that hurts a little bit. Okay. Wait. What? This is the wrong one. <laughs> um. Space exploration. Not super editor space exploration.
Well, if our trains ever get stuck with this version of the loader, we'll know there's something wrong with it. And I wanted to, speaking of blueprints, uh, paste some more of these, uh, depots around. Oh, is this nearly empty? Not even close. It's going to take another train trip to empty this. But it's actually not in the way of the depot, I think. So we could probably just not worry about it. That shouldn't be there anymore. Oh, yes, it should. Okay. Let's copy this. I'm going to make a proper blueprint of this depot somewhere else later. Like, in editor mode, I should have done that. Uh, LTN... And make sure I'm not on the track, actually. Put this over here. I don't know how good or bad an idea it is, actually, to have a depot. Oh. I guess that is going to be in the way, actually. But probably by the time we um, build this entire thing, um, that trash station is going to be empty. Or we could just pick up the rest ourselves. That's in my trash. Not what I meant to do. Looky here, it's not my fault. Clown always ignored his minimap and constantly died to trains, and I'm the problem fixer type, so told him about show rail paths. O okay. What's wrong with show rail paths? Seems like a decent quality of life mod. Have I got enough bots for this? Not really. Almost dropped out of the sky. There we go. Alright, I am going to take a short break. Back in a couple of minutes.
Isn't rail paths just baked into debug? Or does the mod do something more? I see. Why is there a chest here full of assembly machines? I completely missed that. Are there any other little surprises over here? I don't think we need this power pole anymore. Gonna need a lot more rail to get this done. Uh, there's another couple of surprise chests. And hopefully I haven't missed any more than that. Hmm. Uh, this stuff we can pick up ourselves, I think, unless the train's almost here. Not even close. Let's get rid of all this. Is that? Oh, this doesn't normally have a straight rail here as well. That, hold on. That doesn't look like it belongs. It looks like it's on the track pretty much. Medium poles squeezed in there. Yeah, that doesn't look very safe. Okay, that should do. I uh, kind of want to do the same thing up here. Although I guess it wouldn't hurt to have like a bypass there. We definitely don't want a regular chain signal in that location. Probably going to have the same problem down here. Uh, strangely enough, no. That is definitely not what we're looking for. Okay. Let's place that blueprint again. And go back and get some more rail. And away go all my bots again. Oh, UPS is kind of bad. Let's fix that. Somewhat. By somewhat, I mean get it all the way back up to 60. Robots, please. There we go. Okay. Um, it's all good. How is our new planet doing? No signs of biters destroying absolutely everything. Works every time easy. UPS slash FPS is low. Just zoom in the cam. Uh, that too. But I forgot to turn off, uh, turn on performance mode with the streaming software as well. Uh, Conby, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I think it's because, um, for whatever reason, running around on this planet, which doesn't have a lot going on, uh, even though the game is keeping track of everything that's happening on Nalvis as well, um, UPS doesn't drop nearly as much hanging around here. Uh, also, here's a little trick. I'm going to turn performance mode off again real quick so we can really see the difference. So here is my entire base on Nalvis. 
Currently we're at 48, 49 UPS. If I turn on electric networks, we immediately lose... Ooh, as much as four? Three or four UPS? It's kind of surprising, but uh, there you go. Let's fix that again. Looks like our bots have resupply. Oh, we don't need to be carrying this many beacons right now. Not since we finished uh, repairing that other stuff. Uh, same goes for assembly machines. And I think I'll limit the solar stuff to two stacks as well. Until I'm trying to build something bigger. Concrete can also get out of my inventory, please. Same goes for stone brick. Uh, don't need any landfill right now, but I'm not going to change the request. Pipes. And uh, this may be a little excessive. This definitely is. Okay, that's a little bit better. Let's go grab some rail. Since bots take this away. Should be more than enough, I hope. Feeling a bit heavy right now. Oh, where's our target? It's way back this way. Hey, Ragamuffin. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Is that going to reach everything? Uh, just about. Okay, if I move up a little bit, that might actually cover everything. No, there's a couple of things in the corners, but that's okay. I actually brought way more than enough rail, and not enough logistic train stops. Uh, we can make 20. I think that's enough. So there should be nuclear fuel coming here pretty soon. There it goes. And how many trains do I have? Uh, 66. Let's pretend every train is a long train. A uh, long cargo wagon, that is. Train. Kind of wish I'd given names to... Oh. Okay. I must have not ticked the button when I made the blueprint. Medium electric pole is in the way. Get out of here. Okay, train stop names should be correct now. Um, okay. If I see, if I pretend we've got 66 uh, long cargo wagon trains and each of these Wait. Oh, that is a depot. Okay. Yeah. So this is 18... 36... Well, it's actually 18. Um, so 18, 36... 
uh, two more of these depots and we can definitely get rid of all of the old ones that I don't like as much. Well, this one's fine to be honest, but it's kind of out of the way. Should we put a depot up here? I kind of want to put all the smelters here. Oh, should have turned off my bots. And they're repairing things that I intend to replace. Rip. Oh, and I still haven't really... Wait, yes I did. We've got... Four fragments. Uranium ore and stone here. And we are slowly working our way through... I don't think the bots are bringing this stuff here fast enough. Um, how much do we have in terms of... I was wrong. Yeah, there's our uranium core fragments. We've actually worked our way through them already. That was a little bit surprising, to say the least. Okay, so how much do we have here? Uh, 7.3k... Less than half a train load of regular core fragments. Uh, and significantly less than that for stone and uranium. I think we need to scale up a little bit on Tolobai. We should have... Oh! Nope. Never mind. I would have... For a second I thought this was finished with the, um... Uh... Landfill, but I'm actually really shocked to find that it isn't. Um... Where on earth is our stone going? We're hardly getting any. It's not getting stuck. I think we need more of these machines. Or maybe uh, speed modules in here at this point. No, that is supposedly enough um, pulverizers to eat up all of the core fragments. We are prioritizing sending them to Nalvis, though. Maybe we shouldn't be doing that. Hey, Baker Staunch. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Um... I think here is probably a good spot for another depot, actually. How many hours are you in that save? Uh, yes. Um, I can check. 11 days, 18 hours, actually. I've been kind of taking my time. Oh, I need to turn on my Robopot again. I think we emptied this of everything except for the solar panels and power poles and... Uh... Okay, I may have forgotten storage chests. Whoops. We'll see how much of this we can pick up. Where are these bots going? Oh, they're logistic bots? Okay, I'm a little confused. How would it look... Oh, this is... I forgot we had this uh, pipe here. Maybe I'll need to move it. Let's see how it fits. LTN depot... That's actually... Totally fine. I barely need to do anything to it. In fact... Is 
zary. I might need to add the rest of the rail block here. Pretty sure that one's not going to do anything. Okay. I don't think this uh, part of the roundabout is going to help anything. Not this time. We could leave this bit, definitely. They're not going to be able to enter and exit from this side unless I do something a little bit different. Okay, that's going to be a little bit weird, but it would work. Let's try it. I wasn't even going to, but let's do it like that. Looks like a pretzel or something. Everything else should be fine. Although, again, I need to copy paste the station names. There we go. I do wish we could check um, exactly how many... I suppose LTN Manager might tell me. I did install that and tried playing with it a little bit, and I think it caused a crash, so I got rid of it, unfortunately. Um, 66 trains. Assume they're all the long cargo wagon trains. We would need four of these depots. Three is probably enough. Uh, three times 18. 54. We've got at least six long fluid wagons. Uh, one, two. We've got something like six or eight small trains. Not counting the trash trains. So. Let's just double check that with brackets. Three. Yeah, we can definitely fit all the long cargo wagons in these depots, I think, that we've already built once we finish this one. Uh, Conby, thank you for the follow. Much appreciated. And let's not forget to connect this, shall we? There we go. Flashing lights be gone. I'll leave that there for now. Figure it out a little bit later. Um, that's going to need more signaling. Whoa. Okay, that was a little bit scary. No need to think. I'm just enjoying a stream. No worries. Cheers, anyway. Uh, train can go this way. Train cannot go that way. That's a little confusing, even for me. Can go this way. Can go this way. Not go this way. Can go this way. Can go this way. Can go this way. Okay, cool. 
And just to confirm those pipes are not causing any issue. Uh, we've still got a bunch of blue undergrounds missing. And a lot of LTN train stops. Oh, that's going to take more crafting than I expected. Where did my... Did my bot place it? There it goes. Alright, back to base. We'll recharge when we get there. And make sure this is ticked. There we go. Don't know that I need that much more rail. Oh, we're not requesting that much. It's mostly just the blue undergrounds and uh, train stops. Alright, so have any of these loaders jammed? The only thing that I've seen that made me skeptical about them is that uh, that little hiccup with the vanilla version of it from the um, editor. But so far, it's going to take a few more moments before we can see it. So far, I think these are all working. Yep. That's an unloader. That's never going to have a problem. That was an unloader. All right, let's go back to building. I guess I'll keep the RTGs on since we're still pretty low on power. The depots are very recognizable on the map. And away we go. What are you waiting for? Oh, you're waiting for orders. That's good. That means we have an abundance of trains. Definitely what I want to see. Yeah, no. Okay, we need what? Three plus seven, uh, seven, eight logistic train stops. And is that everything? bit of underground missing here still. Uh, why don't we pick it up from over here this time? Legit cool bro, please. Wait, what? Oh, another one? Seriously? That's the same link, right? Yeah. Okay. Bye-bye. It didn't even post. Um, it posted nothing but a nothing but the same link as the last one. Eight N O. What's that? Didn't see it. If you have um, like better TV or something like that, you can see what people have posted, even if it gets uh, removed.
Sorry, I'm trying to type while sideways. Fair enough. Uh, so where are we? Oh yeah, we just needed a couple of blue belts here. Fantastic. I think I would like to get rid of the old depots now. Especially these ones. Because there's such a bottleneck for entering and exiting those depots. The whole point of these new ones is the train stops on each side they've got two corners that they can enter and exit from. I think I just saw some signals missing over here. Uh, yeah, that one's a little bit important. Let's make sure we get back there. Actually, I'll do it now. This signal would allow the trains to leave in this direction, uh, westward. That was fast. Are you using nuclear fuel already? Nope. Okay. I still haven't designed a depot for, well, a new depot for the small trains. Okay, there's a lot of trains here. In fact, they're all here. So just think of it, all of these bottlenecking in and out of here. Uh, can you please go somewhere remote? And I'll get rid of the station. I don't want to do too many of these at once. Um, otherwise we're going to have problems. Oh, you're leaving anyway. By all means. How many bots would it take to forego the trains? Um, at this distance, you can't really replace trains with bots. Um, bots are extremely, like, ludicrously high throughput at short distances. But the further they have to go, it's not just the travel time, but they have to keep stopping to recharge as well um, and it, it doesn't really work out also trains are a lot higher capacity yeah definitely Then this one. Where are you going? Oh, I see. I'm in the robo network. Oh, there's some rail I should have rebuilt. Actually, I remember checking on that and it doesn't really matter. Even so. I don't want to be too reckless about where I send our trains temporarily. One of the nice things about this uh, rail block system is there's just so many places for them to wait or to turn around, etc. In fact, now that I think about it, I don't think I've ever seen such uh, such good traffic control. Th to be fair, though, I'm also using LTN, which I haven't done before. So instead of having um, more trains than I need specifically 
running iron ore and nothing else. More trains than I need specifically running iron plate and nothing else, etc. Um, we can actually just have as many trains in motion as we actually need. Although I suppose once they actually sit in the depots, um, it doesn't really make that much of a difference. Could be wrong about that. I guess they're only going to leave one at a time. In a way, this... Uh-oh. I was going to say, in a way, this bottleneck actually helps me at the moment. Uh, you definitely have a path. Oh, I see what happened here. Alright, could you please go... This way? And then turn around. And you probably think you have no path out of here. I just need you to do the same thing. There you go. Send him somewhere where there's a roundabout or something like that. That'd be a bit better. Is this one stuck as well? Because it doesn't know it can turn around. How about this? Yep, there we go. Are you doing the same thing? Nope, you are actually picking up uranium. Oh, here's a good spot. Should sort itself out. And speaking of decommissioning old things, um, we've had these old. Uh... I completely forgot about this coal liquefaction. We've got that in the rail system, so we don't need this anymore at all. Oh, it is sending fluid into the main base, but we can always have that delivered directly. Yeah, I think I might just remove the requests for coal here, and once this runs out, we'll look at draining it. Um, but yeah, my old dual smelter systems... Uh, these have been sitting here a long time. Even long after I got rid of the logistic uh, requests. It's about time I cleared some space here. There's actually a ton of space we can use over this way. I remember you making those. Yep, yeah, it was a simpler time. And we're getting regular construction bots involved in this, so stuff is not getting picked up by my bots. Kind of feels like uh, cleansing to tidy this stuff up. It's been here so long. Awesome cat. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, we do have some iron plate left over. I know how to fix that. 
regular train stop, trash pickup, uh, enable disable, anything greater than zero, and then get rid of all these, turn these inserters around. goes this way. Uh, some power would be good. There we go. Are we still connected? Yeah. I guess I could have run a deconstruction planner over this whole thing and the bots would eventually deal with it, but it's going to create a lot of bot jobs for quite a while. I don't mind if they help out a little bit. I just don't want them to overload the whole bot network. Okay, same thing over here. Then, like so. Regular train stop. Oh, it has to go here, actually. Um, gonna have to turn this around. These ones are already empty. And then, like so. Be settings from here. Oh, don't kill the trees. No need. These are all empty. Fantastic. Oops. Maybe I should use some more bots for this. That's kind of satisfying. Is getting kind of full. Oh, I remember this belt. It goes all the way back to the spaghetti base. The original and the best. Amazing. Ah, much less cluttered. Maybe we can even eventually build something nice and neat over here. Let's 
get rid of the... Let's not remove the trees and rocks and let's do it this way. Oh, was that emptied already? Or did I just deconstruct it? Either way. I think we'll be getting rid of this weird bit of rail. Yep, the trash trains seem to be on top of things. Or it was just because the pathing was not as far. Yeah, they've still got work to do. Trash pickup down here. What about this one? That's going to take forever. Okay, inventory is looking a bit full. Let's tidy it up. I don't think we need these media point defenses anymore. There's a few of those dotted around the uh, main bus base, actually. Come to think of it, I probably should have used those on... Well, no, it wasn't meteors hitting my base I was concerned about on uh, Alibi. It was the actual... Biters from the Biter Medias. Which, uh, it seems like we're not having any trouble with. Hey, it's completely backed up with the ammo. Fantastic. We're not having any trouble making... Uh, cannon shells, it seems. Have we sent any Vitemelange? Products finished 13, so yes. Not nearly as many as copper. This system could be improved, of course. But the main thing is um, this planet is infinitely producing resources for us, especially uranium and sending them back to Nalvis, and we don't need to touch it at all. It's just going to keep going. The only thing left to do is scale up. Um, what were we doing? Oh yeah, tidying up that old uh, smelter. EB... EBAM, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Maybe I should dot some turrets around the place. Um, after that last incident or two, where a few biters got through the wall, it seems prudent to have at least a little bit of defense everywhere. Uh, especially considering the giant mega biters, the biter space marines that we had to deal with a while ago. Just lurking, no worries, by all means. It's one of my favorite way to, uh, ways to enjoy streams, honestly. 
All right, let's get rid of this rail. And this. Meet the Scorch. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. And... Whoops. I don't like that bit of straight rail sticking out. Yeah, this is actually quite a lot of space that we weren't using. I kind of want to build here, but I also really want to make sure that it lines up perfectly with our existing rail blocks. Um, so I might just copy paste this uh I think I may have blueprinted it actually uh yeah there it is uh so this is a highway with the future rail block in mind so if I if I copy that all the way over here and up here We can make sure we don't uh, misalign the potential rail block that we might build up here. Unfortunately, the size is not suitable. The, the game won't let us do a snap to grid for that one. What are you doing? That looks really weird. Tell you what, back you go. Oh, I'm in the robo network, network again. I guess I could just stay on the edge of it like this. It's going to create a lot of logistic bot jobs, but on the other hand, I won't have to go back and forth. It's kind of the point of them. As long as it doesn't overwhelm the system and start haloing like it's already doing. Whoops. much better. Is Nelvis of limited size in space ex uh, exploration? Yes, uh, but it is very big. Uh, we were scanning it a while ago. I was going to leave the scanner running until it explored the entire map. Uh, we didn't find the edge of it. The size of Nalvis on this map is 5,692. I believe it's 5,692 uh, 5, tiles. 
Um, so this is 10. And 5,692 from the center, which I think is about here. Um, is where the edge of uh, Nalvis is. So I think we might be looking at maybe like half or a quarter of it. It's not implausible that I could push the walls back and finish off the biters. Um, it would take a while. But on the other hand, after that, I would no longer have to concern myself with them. At least on this planet. Then again, um, I'm very suspicious about where those super giant biters came from. So it might be an idea to have defenses anyway. Waiting for someone or me when I touch this mod to do Mega Base covering the whole of Nalvis? That's an interesting thought. Having a finite space to work with and trying to figure out what's the most you can do with a mega base. Morning, Ian Nua. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I guess that signal can stay. That's a lot of area to cover. Yeah, it, it's pretty big. I guess Diablo could do it. Reminds me, it's been a minute since I uh, posted VODs to the YouTube, but better make sure I upload them. Factory must grow, I guess. Yes, indeed. Um... I guess if it's on, if you if you're talking about on Nalvis itself, it can't grow forever. My inventory is so full. Oh, uh, I didn't start deconstructing the small depots, did I? That would have been careless. Yeah, we don't actually have anywhere for the, um, for the small trains to go if I remove this. And you're losing your bots? Am I? Oh, yeah. Well, they'll catch up by the time the other bots, uh... Empty my inventory, probably. I'm still seeing no trains getting stuck. That's good. And... Perfect. Oh, here they come. That is a slow procession. Why don't we actually just pick them up the usual way? Arya Stark, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Bot abuse? I'm sorry. 
I didn't even realize I was leaving without them. Or that they'd take that long to get over there. Why do I have locomotive... Wait, why do I have a locomotive and a cargo wagon in my inventory? Did I just half deconstruct one? I keep forgetting I made that taxi train as well. I should probably use it. Okay. I haven't even checked this in forever, but nope, we are doing totally fine for all the basic resources. Um, I should really set up a glass drop-off if I'm going to keep using this um, main bus base. Because the glass production we're doing here, not only is it slow, but it's also less efficient than using the industrial furnaces. And we've got, uh, what is it, 4 times 7? 0.2. We've got about 20, 28 to 30 um, train loads full of glass just waiting to be used. How did that steel get there? Um... What? How? What? Oh, I think I... Maybe I noticed this when I was on another planet and I never fixed it. Let's go have a look. It saw the stone and got jealous? Yeah. Uh, these things I thought happened when... Like, during building. Like, maybe we deconstructed a stone and ended up on a belt or something. But I don't know how steel would have got there. I really don't know how this sort of thing would get through testing. Just running it for a while after making it in, um... Okay. Steel. And then pick up the rest of the iron plate. It's all steel. It's in places it shouldn't be. I don't know how on earth we got steel here, of all places. And here as well. What? What? That doesn't seem possible. Here and here. So this splitter, this one maybe, there's steel here? Okay, it's definitely steel that's the problem, apparently. Somehow we got steel here. That literally should not be possible. Stone brick can go this way, stone brick can go this way. Everything else is verboten. Um, also, we seem to be stuck with copper. Probably because of this. Although... What are these set to? Everything less than or equal to zero. Okay. I think if I set those to, like, copper plate less than or equal to zero, even if we do have that problem again, um, it's not going to cause it to stop picking things up. But I'm still at a, at a loss as to how we're ending up with steel, or that one bit of stone in these chests. That's um, pretty bizarre to me. 
Let's check the other ones. We're not doing the same thing. I think it's only been this station that's done it. Hmm. At least the filter inserters are not going to put the random resources into the trains. Well, that's kind of odd. Also, I thought we... Do we not have lane balances here somewhere? I guess not. Yeah, it doesn't really make sense to. We just want to pick all this stuff up as fast as we can. Normally we would be preventing this from getting to the end of the belt in the first place. Oh, that was a little odd. Nevertheless, uh, with these four new Omni Smelters, we haven't had any trouble whatsoever keeping up with uh, the basic resources. There goes another cannon. More coal for us. Okay. Uh, what were we doing before we got distracted? Deconstructing this. Uh, I might keep that, actually. The steel in the splitter as well. Oh, I think I found it, right? That's normal. Cool. Yeah, okay. Robots go. I may have been a bit ambitious with that. Maybe I should, like, mark all of the rail for deconstruction from the bot network. And they can do the easy stuff. That doesn't involve picking up the items off the belt. And now we do our thing. Oh, rip tree. Oh, remember this weird loop? That was, uh, interesting. <laughs> it's been an ex uh, it's been a process learning how two-way rails work for the first time. Very well worth it, though. A new satellite was launched, but no new data. That's fine. Well, didn't find anything new. Uh, my bots are full again. I'm full again. Back we go. And let's go right about here. Should be plenty of bots able to get to me pretty quickly. What's this? 
over full. Let's have a look. That is not just a little bit over full. What happened here? One stack 60 requests stack threshold and we're only asking for 99,000? How did... How did we get... Is this wire connected to everything? We've got 111,000... Chests are pretty evenly distributed, except for these ones. That's pretty weird. Uh, we did set up a balanced unloader. Wonder if something happened to it. This is actually one of the... Oh. Oh. That's not coal. Is it the same over here? Yeah, we're lucky it hasn't happened here yet. Okay, let's go over and fix that. Even distribution might be able to help there. Hey, Majagus. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. So this is one of those old designs where I was setting the stack size of the balanced unloaders as well. Uh, trying to find ways to keep the throughput as high as possible while doing a precise balanced unloader. It's not too bad, actually. This is to bump up the stack size a little bit, but other than that, if we get too far ahead of unloading, uh, we reduce the stack size on this inserter before we disable it. Um, so yeah, this should be iron plate, iron plate, and then you'll see all of the inserters which are, have a below average amount in their chest. Uh, switching off. Copy paste this over to the other one. And I don't think we're going to have problems there, but just in case. Let's do a even distribution for all of these. There might be room to unload all of this stuff now. There should be actually. And I'll head over this way. Grab a little bit of iron and use even distribution on these as well. There we go. Okay. And coal is obviously set up correctly. What's this train waiting on? Um. What are you waiting for? You're just trying to leave, actually. What are you waiting for? You're set to manual for some reason. Oh, this is... This has been destroyed. Oh, a biter got it. Okay. It's pretty much empty. Let's just get rid of it. And then you should be able to leave just fine. That did not take long to fill up. And I think I was muted. But more importantly, we fixed the train issue. It took too long to spot a train that had been partly eaten by biters. Okay. Uruk says hi. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, what were we doing before we got distracted? I know we were deconstructing this stuff. 
but I feel like there was something else. Donk? Uh, since I've got some rail on me, let's go finish that. And while the bots build this, I want to take another peek at uh, this down here. I'm not seeing any random steel. Bonk again. Okay. And then this one. How's a, how has Project send all of the extra stuff back to... Back to base been going. Uh, looks like it's been going pretty well, actually. Fantastic. Why has this stuff not been repaired already, though? Are we still struggling to get repair packs to some of these? It looks like maybe the answer's yes. Repair packs... Uh, I'm not seeing a train stuck here, so that's a good sign. It is picking up repair packs. That's working quite well, honestly. Maybe there aren't enough of those trains? No, we're not lacking um, other things over here. We should probably have more than one of these pickups by now. I should make it part of the rail network instead of just lazily added to the main bus. I'm surprised there isn't another train headed this way yet. Probably... It might help if I didn't have a max train limit of one for this, but on the other hand, with the whale, the uh, whale, with the way the rail is, spaghetti mess over here. I don't really want another train waiting uh, to pick up from that station, especially when there's issues of. Okay, that really needs to be fixed. We literally keep letting the biters through the gate. Um, might have to tweak that design a little bit. Ever since I changed the value for... At what accumulator charge level do we switch on the neighboring lasers? Come on in. Yeah. Uh, the idea is the gate will shut at the same time as all of these extra laser turrets switch on. Which is to say, as soon as these two have drained this accumulator a bit. But uh, it's not... It, it's taking longer to start firing than I would like. I think maybe I should have, uh, I was going to say I should have more than one accumulator, but if I put those here again, they get hit by the spitters if they attack the laser turrets. We can always place a couple of solar slash accumulator arrays to boost power production, if that's an issue. The issue is, I want this to be a self-contained power unit until these lasers start firing, and then we know... Yeah, they, there you go. Perfect, perfect demonstration. I'm not seeing this gate shut, though, for some reason. Uh, that's really weird, actually. It's probably because... Okay, I think um, this... this should connect to here and this should connect to here because I think both of these have to be set to 
close the gate in order for this one to be closed with the way this is set up. But yeah, that's the idea. Um, there's three ways you can detect biters with the... Well, four ways if you count artillery. Um, but it's basically just variations on the same thing. Um, you can detect when ammo is being consumed, whether it be electrical charge from this accumulator, um, if these inserters are moving ammunition into gun turrets, or if uh, the light oil in these storage tanks is decreasing. Uh, obviously you'd want a bit of a different layout for the pipes if you were going to do it that way. Probably would be a good idea for the next iteration of this design to um, detect biters based on the flamethrower turrets firing, because I think for one thing that would be able to trigger quite quickly, uh, usually the flamethrower turrets are the first thing to start firing. Uh, just have to get the circuitry correct to uh, to detect when light oil is on its way down, as opposed to just at a low level. What kind of ammo is that in the requester chests next to the turrets? Uh, that is artillery. And for some reason I haven't put an artillery turret next to that one. So this goes here. I've got uh, versions of this wall that are less complete or more complete. So the second final version of it doesn't include artillery. Um, but the requester chests ask for the artillery shells anyway. I suppose I could remove the artillery requests from the requester chests from this version. And when we paste this over, it'll update the uh, requests, right? Makes sense now? Yep. This is definitely a pretty good design right here, where these laser turrets that are closest to the wall are diagonal from the big electric poles. Um, nothing else gets hit by the spit if we do it this way. Anyway, a few things to think about there. It's about time to find the stream to raid. Let's make sure the base isn't on fire or something. Everything seems to be in order. Okay, let's give it a little save. And I think just for something to look at while I find a stream to raid, go over here. Diablo is streaming. It's been a minute. I'll probably raid Diablo. Especially since I mentioned him earlier this stream. Thanks for the stream. No worries. Thanks for hanging out. Alright. Thank you all for watching. Do take care. And I'll see you next time. There goes our artillery. That's actually a pretty significant increase to the auto-targeting range. Rip zoo. Uh, thank you all for watching. Do take care. And I'll see you next time. Check out the blueprints or the Discord if you're interested. If you have any questions or requests, by all means, let me know. And uh, let's drop in on Diablo. Uh, I may not stream tomorrow. I think I might be visiting family. Take care, guys. It's me, Humber. Well, hello. <laughs> Hello, hello. Uh, the Raiders are keen multiplayer people, multiplayer Factorio fans. Really? Well, have I got news for you? <laughs> have I got news for you? Tyrannosaurus Hex raiding with 81? Holy moly, thank you very much, Mr. Tyrannosaurus Hex.